I'm really sorry if that was really loud. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to round one. The pre-show. This is something new, isn't it? So welcome to a new feature that's coming to the streams now. Uh, just a pre-show to show you what's going on, who we have here, and uh, a heck of a lot more. Uh, so at the moment, there is a driver's briefing going on. <laughs> just to let you know what's going on at the circuit. Uh, so, unfortunately, well, that shows you one thing. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the new look. We have cameras, three new cameras, uh, showing you, well, all the different locations of the track. So we've got this one here, this wet one here, uh, because in tree clay pigeon fashion, it is, uh, of course, raining, uh, which is nothing new there. Uh, and then we've got this one here, which is sort of the same as the other one, you know, you had sort of got some of the same but there's three new camera angles they're going to be work in progress throughout the year uh which is something really awesome so i'm really in love with these camera angles man so yeah let's give you billy's and the s's first this is uh the one that's shown a bit more of billy's uh which i quite like but yeah as it says on the digi board here today welcome to costa del clay uh which is something a bit different but we've got a whole lot to talk about ladies and gentlemen it is round one and uh, I don't know if you can, you could just about hear it in the background. It is raining, uh, as typical clay pigeon fashion. But hey, uh, we we move on. We keep going. So we've got some special guests here today. We have Total Karting Zero that are joining us uh, with their Bambino and Cadet fleet. Just to uh, show off all of them bits. So yeah, let's sort of. That's pretty much it for the pre-show. Talk of talking wise, it's. Wet, windy, three new camera angles, and uh, not much talk, much else to say. So let's get on with round one. It will be starting in probably about 15 minutes' time. So we shall see how it goes, ladies and gentlemen. The pre show. This is something different. If you are here watching on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you for 400 subscribers earlier. Uh, when I say earlier, yesterday. We hit it yesterday. Uh, so if you do want to support anybody throughout the stream later on, uh, feel free to put it down in the uh, YouTube comments and it'll be uh, set out over the tannoy. But yeah, this is the three new camera angles and a very wet clay pigeon, obviously, to start off the year. We have to have a wet look, don't we? That's the only way to uh, start the year. Very, very busy up here. So hopefully you're all having a great time. We uh, haven't been... We haven't been here for about two months, and it rains. <laughs> so it is very, very windy. I'm just looking out to the left. There's awnings tied down. I feel sorry for the marshals today, so uh, we will uh, wish them luck. So if you're on the YouTube comments, make sure to say hello. I'll uh, much appreciate it. If you've got anybody you are supporting today. But yeah, we've uh, the program is available in main reception if you're watching from live at the circuit. Uh, but today's running order, we have Total Karting Zero Cadets, followed by Honda Cadets, the Minimax, uh, then Junior Rotax. Then we'll have the Total Karting Zero Bambinos uh, later on, uh, Senior Rotax, and then the 177 and 177 Masters, uh, obviously combined as before, 28 races for the day. And uh, practice will be starting from 10 o'clock. That's when we will be going live properly. But yeah... I hope you're all warm at home because it's it's not nice up here. <laughs> it's not nice up here. Simon White, good luck everybody. Indeed, indeed. Definitely in this weather conditions. I don't think we're going to be seeing any uh, dry dry racing today. As uh, the, 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 the it's it's just absolutely wet. <laughs> that camera alone says it all. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm hoping these cameras survive the day. I've uh, tried, well, I say me, uh, me and the uh, Clay Pigeon Raceway team, uh, the staff up here, have uh, tried to get these cameras and alongside the Cart Club as well, trying to get all of these cameras working uh, without any problems. So <laughs> if, if the cameras go down, we've got to go back to the classic look um, that we've had uh, years ago. Um, but yeah, as you can see, Marshalls are heading onto the track right now. Uh, when it gets to about this... 
keep going for another three minutes and then uh, we'll probably end the uh, the uh, pre-show there but uh yeah this pre-show i hope it's something that you would all uh, enjoy for this year uh, something a little bit different yeah i feel the, oh, the marshal that's on post one the rain is coming directly from the left um so uh, good luck to him man whoever's on post two is all right the marshal right near the s's they're, 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 they'll be all right <laughs> I think the good one, the good post to be on is like two and five at this rate, which uh, yeah, they're the, probably the better ones to go for. But uh, as long as no water gets in these cameras, we will be a okay. Right, ten minutes till we get going here. We'll have probably a ten minute break. Before we get everything underway. And uh, that is how we're going to get going for today. Let's get some music in the background. He says as it just switches song. <laughs> uh, all of our music, uh, if you hear that during the stream, is from Epidemic Sound, uh, as always. There it is. I knew this pre-show was missing something. That was music. <laughs> you, you could disappear for two months and you forget how to stream. <laughs> but yeah. So, I am excited, that's for sure. It's uh, going to be a very, very interesting day. The rain is literally sideways. <laughs> You're not going to see much from this camera. It's, it's better than what you would have seen out of a window, that's for sure. But uh, we move on, we live. You can just hear it in the background of the uh, microphone. It is very, <laughs> it's very windy. It's really going to test this camera mount, that's for sure. I don't know if you can see all like the bits of w rain just flying off. Oh god, I'm, I'm excited, but at the same time, I'm like paranoid that these uh, <laughs> these cameras are going to stop working at some point. Touch wood is what I say. Touch wood. 18 viewers apparently, according to YouTube. Hello to everyone that is watching. We are live all day. We're going to be live all day. So, I'm going to take eight minutes off of the stream. We'll have a bit of a uh, rest up and then we'll uh, get to all the live stuff very shortly. So, ladies and gentlemen, I shall see you in eight minutes time for when all the action hits the track. Well, it'll probably be shorter than eight minutes because I'm going to get live before uh, everything kicks off. Right, I'll see you soon.
We're alive! Oh, we are alive. Welcome to Clay Pigeon Raceway, everybody. Hey, how is everybody doing? Let's get this underway. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Clay Pigeon Raceway. It is lovely weather. No, it's not. It's absolutely tipping down with rain. It's wet, it's soggy, but it's not going to dampen our moods today. Welcome to round one of 2022, and we're joined with Total Karting Zero. We're live on YouTube, Clay Pigeon Kart Club. If you want to scan the QR codes at the back of your programs, and that will head you straight over to the live stream. And uh, also, talking about the live stream, we have three new uh, camera angles to show off the track in its wettest form, that's for sure. So, at the moment, we have... So I don't even know who we have out at the moment. <laughs> we have the Total Kart and Zero Cadets out at the moment, going around the track, uh, trying to hopefully put some sort of dry stuff out there. <laughs> but yeah, I am your commentator, Alex Downs. So I'm going to be here for the next six or so hours of racing in this glorious clay pigeon raceway. There's not much else I can say, really. <laughs> or as the Digiboard said earlier, earlier Costa del Clay. We really can't get enough of the wet weather here. So like I said, there's three new camera angles today uh, for the YouTube live stream. So if you do want to go and check that out, you can do. Uh, with some new other bits as well. Including uh, some new animations uh, <laughs> around the track too. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to see more of the track as well. But uh, let's see what we have out there today at the moment. Uh, we have eight Total Kart and Zero Cadets out there uh, whilst they do their practice. Uh, Max Winfield in cart number two doing a 51.99 out there. So quite confident in this uh, weather conditions. As they are going around the track as best they can. I know some of the camera angles are sort of the same. <laughs> I couldn't really adjust it in this weather. It's going to take some getting used to for what cameras I want. There we go. So fastest lap time out there was a 51.99 set, uh, set by Max Winfield. Ellis Garrett's out there, cart number four. William Swales, cart number three. Corey Chapman, uh, cart five. Cody Trace in six. Jack Johnson in car 8, Stanley Stafford in 1, and Trevelyn Sandstorm in car number 10 out there to uh, end out the field there. That is your 8 Total Kart and Zero Cadets. They were, some of them I actually recognised from last year as well. So like I said, we are live on YouTube. If you do want to catch the live action without getting soaking wet outside, they are throughout the building upstairs in the lovely warm and dry cafe <laughs> and uh, one thing you can definitely hear on the live stream is that rain one of the cameras showing off the rain very well but hopefully you're all doing well and hope you uh, are all ready for this year obviously a wet start to this year but there's not much you can do about that uh, especially it being round one Good old overlay, sir. <laughs> so, how's everybody doing in the YouTube live stream? Hopefully you're all doing well, and hopefully you're all dry as well, because that's where I am in the dry. <laughs> I want to be in the dry, man. <laughs> it's not nice. <laughs> It's horrible. This camera angle is just... 
it's just horrible. I, d I don't think I'll be taking these cameras down later on either. My, my jeans are soaked. So flying out onto the track, as you can see on a new camera angle, is the Honda Cadets. Back out again, splashing through puddles over the track. And let's see who we have out there today. Quite a few familiar names. Ava Morris. Car number 32, Travis Rose. Car number 16 out there as well. Uh, one of the novices today, Charlie Wood in car number 86. Let's see how uh, he performs today. Jensen Hookie in uh, car number 33 out there as well. Jensen Walker to car number 22. Let's see how the uh, these guys do today. And girls, obviously. I love this animation. Let's see how it goes today. Martin Burtz on the YouTube live stream saying, Good luck, Team Clay. See how they do today. So they fly on through the kink of the circuit up and towards Billy's. As you can see on the top left of the screens. Uh, currently... Ava Morris doing a 51-1-3. Total of 13 cadets out there at the moment. It's going to be great to see what they can uh, do today with uh, the current weather conditions. And uh, see what they can do this year as well. Last year was uh, absolutely brilliant with uh, the performance they gave us. There they go, coming down the main straight. Max Lovell doing well out there. 49.24 at the moment. One of the faster times out there. Conrad Barton flying up the order. 49.12. Utilising the track as best as uh, they can at the moment. Uh, the other novice out there that's just popped up on the screen as well. Number 47, Charlie White. See how they do today as well. It's great to see some uh, new names out there. Obviously not the nicest day uh, for it, but nevertheless we uh, still continue on and uh, plough on through these uh, lovely conditions of Clay Pigeon Raceway. Check a flag gone out for their practice. As uh, today's practice, as he quickly opens up the program, uh, three lap practice as always. Lovely weather bobble. Oh, and uh, yes, I have a cold, so sorry if I sniff down your uh, microphones there <laughs> into your eardrums. So, fastest lap time out of the cadets at the moment. Eva Morris with a 48.91. Uh, Luke Ford in number 96 with a 49.04. Ooh. And Conrad Barton, a 49.19. There we go. So, that will do it for the Honda cadets for their three lap practice. It won't be the same later, unfortunately. Just where it's uh, absolutely miserable out there at the moment. <laughs> You could just hear it battering the window up here. At least it's not freezing cold though. Well, it up in here anyway. I've got my uh, own warmth. <laughs> I've got my own warmth up here, so I'm, at, <laughs> I'm all right. So, how are we all doing over on the YouTube live stream, ladies and gentlemen? 35 viewers for round one. We're back again. God, do love it when uh, we have a load of view up in the uh, streams. I really do like it. And uh, Clay Pigeon has uh, done the, sorted out their internet as well. Oh, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Mini Max now out for uh, their, uh, their three lap practice in the rain. I'm just going to keep mentioning the rain and hoping it will go away. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll have a uh, good luck with that one. Right, who do we have out on the track at the moment? So, for the Minimaxes, we have Lucas Howell, cart number 19. Uh, one of the novices out there, Jarek Metters. 
Charlie Parker, cart number 48, another novice out there. Jack West, back out again. Joshua Withcombe out there as well. Martin Wright, cart number 14, out there as well. Robert Page on the YouTube saying, good luck to all. James Millwood saying, geez, I don't miss those days. What's the race order for today? Well, I can tell you that one. <laughs> so at the moment, we've got the Minimaxes out. Then we've got uh, Junior Rotax next. Total Cars and Zero Bambinos will follow. Then Senior Rotax. Then uh, ending out will be the 177 and 177 Masters. But uh, let's see what we can do. Lap times out there. Jack West currently at the fastest of a 50.37. Trying to find the best of the track conditions at the moment. As uh, Lucas Howell goes over the track, going a lot faster at this point as well. As they all come flying down the straight. That looks great on the new camera angles that we have. Just going to keep boasting it out there. Jack West showing his pace out there as well. 47.42. Another, another speed demon from last year. Obviously, well done to everybody last year uh, who uh, competed. Obviously, a fresh year this year. So let's uh, see what new stuff come, uh, comes from this one. But uh, at the moment, 47.42, 47.76, 47.77, Martin Wright in cart number 14. As they all come flying down the main straight now to uh, end up their three lap practice. Martin Wright with a 46.15 as the current fastest. As they all go flying around. Look at that. It is wet. You can see the spray coming off of the back of all their cars. It's not going to be... Uh, it's going to be horrible following each other. <laughs> what a day it is. The computer's saying it's raining now. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> As uh, I'm slowly drying off uh, up here in the commentary hut. <laughs> it's uh, setting up the cameras this morning was a bit of a task. That was a laugh though. Good old laugh. Timekeeper today, Simon Whitty, as always. He's uh, did quite a lot of the rounds last year. I want to say a lot of them, most of them. Uh, so he's the one who's controlling uh, making sure all the times on the uh, doors are fine for today. As I talk about that, though, we have the Junior Rotax popping out onto your screens at the moment and onto the track as well. Benjamin Bartlett, cart number 44. We have Billy Edge come out there, cart number 23. Uh, a couple of the novices, Daniel Ellis, uh, Saul Kornberg, uh, cart 42 and 13, respectively. Uh, everybody trying to get used to these conditions already. We've got someone who's uh, quite slow going down the back straight at the moment. Unfortunately, we can't get any closer to the back straight on the camera angles yet. As always, next month. But let's see what we can get from these guys. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> I'm a child with these. So let's keep going. What are we going to get? Benjamin Bartlett going over the line there. God, this looks great from the angles. The camera angles, ladies and gentlemen. If you do want to have a look at them, it's on the YouTube live stream throughout the building and on your mobile devices if you scan the QR code at the back of the programs. Yep. Clay Pigeon's into QR codes at the moment. Also, there's free Wi-Fi if you want it. Uh, QR codes around the uh, building. Free Wi-Fi. you got to love that. Obviously, if you're at home, you've got free Wi-Fi anyway. <laughs> well, not free Wi-Fi, but hey. So let's get through the times at this current time. Hey. Uh, Benjamin Bartlett, cart 44, 4790. Uh, he did last. That's uh, not showing me the full times at the moment. So, well, let's see what times you do get. Uh, 4595, just clicking over there. As they come down the main straight. Quite a few of them. There's the order coming through uh, as well. 
Uh, let's pick out some other times out there. We've got a 48.95 from Leo Purchase. Hey, here we go. All updated now. Matthew Lambert, 45.78 is the best. Uh, currently out there. As they all go flying over the kink and uh, into Ward's Billies. Charles Green out there, 45.81. Cart number 77. Archie Bustle. Uh, 50.54 with the card number 22. One of the, uh, well, the third novice out there. Let's see how they do today, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? As they come flying down your screens with uh, three new cameras and three new camera angles. It's lovely to see. As uh, they go all flying over. Fastest lap time at the moment, 44.29, set by Charles Green. Finn Smith is up there, uh, 44.80, so a bit of time to find out there, but obviously it's going to change later if this weather condition, uh, if, well, if it just stays like this, really. Uh, we're not really uh, expecting any dry weather any time today, so, well, that's a bit unfortunate, really, but eh. <laughs> we might get it. We might have something dry, you never know. It's Clay Pigeon. It's Clay Pigeon Raceway. Paul Mabron, jeez! Good luck to all at Team Clay. Oh, there's a lot of support for Team Clay today already. If you do want to support any of the drivers and get it sent out, make sure to pop onto the YouTube live stream. Uh, I'll be sure to read out your messages and uh, come and hang out with the uh, small amount of people that we have over at the stream at the moment. Uh, we're currently looking at 39 people in the viewing areas. Great! Also, massive thank you to all that subscribed to the YouTube channel, pushing us over 400 before yesterday ended and uh, starting the stream with uh, 407. So thank you to everybody who does subscribe. And if you're not yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, see if we can hit 1,000 this year. And uh, you never know, there might be something attached to uh, a few of these milestones. Wink, wink. Got some cheesy music in the background. Now. Just waiting for a recovery on the track. How are we all doing, ladies and gents? 41 concurrent viewers. 42 as it spikes up. God, I hate to be recovering in this weather. <laughs> you can just see the rain flying off of the... Uh... <laughs> oh, God, I feel sorry for everybody that's driving. Massive, massive well done to all the Bambinos. and uh, All the Bambinos? I saw the word Bambino. Uh, Toes of Cotton Zero Bambinos are up next. Um, <laughs> but what I mean is, uh, well done to all these marshals, man. Yeah, they've, they've got a job set out today. So, the, m mad respect to all of them. Got like Danny Newman in Minimax. Yep, I'll make sure to pop that out a little bit later on, Ollie. They've uh, already been out today, so we'll pop that when they go out in their heats later on. Massive support. God, I feel sorry for these guys. It's like a game show in the background. Clay Pigeon Cut Club, round one. The game show. I talk rubbish, don't I? <laughs> oh, the cameraman. There's a cameraman as I flick to all the wrong camera angles. This is where you need weatherproof stuff. I wish I wore weatherproof stuff when I got my uh, stuff together. Uh, there's only four Total Carton Zero Bambinos out there today. Um, oh, oh, Jesus, they're already out. <laughs> so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Back out on the circuit. Uh, we now have Total Carton Zero Bambinos back out this year. Uh, there's only four of them today. We have Alfie Garrett, Nikita Roberts, Hector Dickey, and Billy Gromit. Uh, all of them brave in the weather conditions of Clay Pigeon Raceway. As slow or as fast as they want. I hope they've got their weatherproofs on. Ollie Bailey says, good luck, Danny Newman in Minimax. you got a friend on the YouTube live stream. And uh, by the username of JokerAndy1, he says, say hi to Max Tyler of Attack Motorsport from Andy, winky face. Hello, Max. <laughs> but yeah, let's see what we can get with the Tilt of Carton Zero Bambinos, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, only four of them out there, so... It's great to see them back again. We had a, quite a few of them last year when they popped up uh, on the occasion. And uh, whilst we have the Bambinos out, uh, with the Total Carton Zero lot, 
Uh, their heats are six minutes plus a lap, and the final will be eight minutes plus a lap. And uh, for everybody else, uh, it would be eight minutes plus a lap for the heats and ten minutes plus a lap for the finals. So how wet they will be, that will be decided by the weather. It's going to be horrible. See a lot of people viewing up on the balcony. Hello everyone up at the balcony. Hope you're trying to shelter from the rain. Dave, no, he's up there. <laughs> Just saying hello. <laughs> So lap times at the moment, uh, 1 minute 13.07 set by Alfie Garrett. Nikita Roberts setting a 1 minute 14.57. Hector Dickey with a 1 minute 37.4, Brave in the Elements. And Billy Gromit setting a 135.17. One so we'll add the senior Rotax out after these Bambinos. And... Uh, this could be an exciting day for the senior Rotax. It's going to be competitive out of them lot. Obviously, I know a few of them are quite good in the wet, uh, watching them from last year. So we can only hope and see what happens uh, this year. Somebody revving behind me, uh, Rotax. <laughs> it's a bit hard to disguise it when you've got the Total Carton Zero Bambinos out. Or any Total Carton Zeros out. It's great to have them back, though, this year. More lap times to pop out onto the screens. Alfie Garrett improving with a 104.43, finding a lot of time out there. Despite the weather conditions. Uh, Nikita Roberts out there as well. Uh, unfortunately not improving their last lap. Hector Dickey did, uh, 121.51, and Billy Gromit just going over the line there, uh, also managed to improve with a 126.83. Alfie Garrett uh, with a 103.69 as the checkered flag goes out. As you can see uh, on the uh, YouTube live stream, you can see at the bottom of the screen, every now and then a bit of rain flies off of the screen. <laughs> Typical clay pigeon weather, this. Rain. Heavy rain, that is. It's blowing sideways! <laughs> is it a chill song? If you do want any of the music, uh, it's over on Epidemic Sound. We have a link in the About page of the YouTube channel. Um, so feel free to click that if you ever want to uh, have a look uh, at any of the music that we do use. Obviously, licensed for our use. As uh, Hector Dickey goes over the line there. So, how are we thinking on the new camera angles, everyone? A little bit different to uh, what we had last year. Uh, sort of uh, trying to improve what we see uh, on the screens. Obviously, I know most of it is covered in absolute rainwater. But uh, we, we were setting this up this weekend. We thought, oh, it's raining. <laughs> this is a good test. So if they work today, they can work all year round. Touch wood. Touch wood. There's a lot of other overlays that I have later on. So uh, I'll be excited to see that. Martin Burt says very good. Thank you. Do appreciate that. We'll uh, hopefully be improving it again at round two. Uh, this is the first proper test we've been able to do. Uh, so that's why like two of the camera angles are almost identical. Message retracted. <laughs> hey, Steve Haywood. Hello. Happy New Year from Australia. Oh, you're still over there. You well, prefer to be over there, actually. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a bit horrible over it. <laughs> Maybe we've all had a new year as well. I forget. It's the first time we've actually been able to talk about stuff. <laughs> Action time. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The 
floodgates are open for these lot. The senior Rotax out on the track. <laughs> Jack Goran out there in cart number 15 skating through the S's. As I try and get my words out there. Benjamin Ballou, cart number 37 out there as well. Cameron Crockett, Daniel Beards, Harrison Crook, Amelia Nelson back out there again. Ben Page, cart number 90. Uh, Kieran Ives, Jensen Watts, Jordan Morris, Jack Maben. A lot of familiar names from last year. All brave in the weather, even though one of them's over the grass. <laughs> Getting some good feedback from the cameras so far, Martin Burt. Thank you. Camera's good. Thank you. And Steve Hayward on the uh, YouTube comments saying, Happy New Year from Australia. Jack... <laughs> God, I just look out the left side of my screen and Jack Goring's having a nice little grass cutting session. <laughs> he's, a, he's a speed demon, but I think it's a bit too fast for these conditions at the moment. Let's see what sort of times they are doing out there on the circuit. Uh, Jack Goring, a 47.14. Uh, Cameron Crockett as well, 47.32. I'm just having a look down the order as the uh, order is not fully complete at the moment. But uh, yeah, we've got a lot of names here. Ellis Cottrell saying, Good luck, Jack Goring. Poppy is watching too. Also, happy birthday, Steve Goring. Happy birthday, Steve. Let's see if Jack can get anywhere high up for you today. <laughs> He's flying down the back straight at the moment. Uh, 47.84 was his uh, last lap time. As we uh, wait for it all to update properly. Should probably have a uh, thing up there. Little Tog, camera is good. Would be nice to have some cameras at some of the corners. Yes, I would love to have that. Uh, unfortunately, it's a bit of a limitation uh, with how we've got it set up and uh, cost, etc. Uh, so that may be maybe in the future but at the moment it's uh it's uh not something we'd be able to do at the moment we're just lucky enough to get these cameras going so uh, we should see how it goes in the near future and if it gets uh, any better we're sure to fingers crossed upgrade so not able to tell you who is the fastest out there uh, but just having a look uh Cameron Crockett is a 44.46. Benjamin Ballou, 44.38. Jack Goring out there with a 44.96 as well. That blob on the screen has been there for so long and it's annoying. <laughs> uh, Jack Maben out there, 45.40. Hey, it's all updated. Jensen Watts, 43.76 for fastest. Uh, Jordan Morris, 43.93. Uh, Benjamin Ballou, 44.38. Jack Goring down there with a 44.96. So not too bad as uh, they all swim through the track. <laughs> Sam Matthew says, good luck, TKZ guys from Alfred Matthews. Yes, good luck to Tuck Cart and Zero guys. It's great to have them back. If you haven't seen them already, uh, they're at the Blue Workshop. Make sure to pop over and say hi and if you're interested. It's great to have the Toto Kart and Zero back. I actually quite like them being around. Even though they take up the whole entire Blue Workshop. <laughs> no, I'm maybe joking. It's great to have them back. Oh, squeaky. So here we go, ladies and gents. Flying out onto the track to swim through the track. Uh, more than anything. It's the 177 and 177 Masters. As Joe, cart number 33. He's out there, uh, slowly making his way with. Is that. Pretty much high vis yellow on his wheels. Does Joe have high vis yellow wheels? He does indeed. Oh, Joe. <laughs> high vis yellow. We haven't got to spot where Joe is today, but. Let's have a look at the other drivers. Dan Milner's out there. Uh, Alex Solly out there as well. One of the novices. I know he's going to be uh, soon completing his uh, novice. He's uh, been uh, quite a few of these. Ian Branfield's out there as well. Uh, number 46. Harry Rowett out there. Ben Johnson. Reese Lewen. 
Well, uh, sorry, <laughs> Llewellyn. Card number 22, if you say it quickly, I, um, I was bound to tongue twist his uh, surname. Sorry. Simon Wheelard's out there, card number 47. Nathan Crowder, another novice out there, and the card number 77. Oh, thank you, Paul. Really appreciate that. Great camera quality and positions. Well done. Oh, yes. That's, that's, that's made me even happier today. <laughs> no, and I focus on one, one guy going around Billy's. <laughs> We will be changing uh, a few of these cameras up because two of them are the same, uh, as you can see here. So uh, we will uh, hopefully change that up at some point. Round two. It's a bit of an experimental round today, but uh, at least we know these cameras are working good. It's good stuff. So let's get the lap times out onto your eardrums. Uh, we have a 45.06. We have a beached man in the grass. <laughs> I'm making beach puns today. I don't think it's going to go well. <laughs> uh, let's go back to the times then. So James Webb, 4477. The only one at the 44s at the moment. Uh, Ian Brownfield, cart number 46, 4506. There it is. Uh, Harry Rowett, 4532. And you, uh, cart number 33. That's an in-going joke inside of the uh, clay pigeon. Uh, Joe Wormsley, 4834, down at the back. But it's okay, because he has his high-visibility wheels. And don't worry, I won't make a, a wheel pun. They're really not good. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm excited, that's why I'm making all these terrible puns. <laughs> Forty-eight of you in the stream so far. Woohoo! That's lovely to see. Thank you, everybody who's actually watching. Uh, tagging along. Whatever you're doing today. Hopefully it's indoors, because, my God, you don't want to be up here. But you do. You do and you don't. <laughs> it is horrible. Horrible with a H on the H. It's, dis it's disgusting. As I plop into a Fanta. Nice bit of Fanta for the journey today. As I slowly try and dry off my legs from setting up these cameras. <laughs> I've got all day. I stood outside earlier, just well, as it was raining too bad. I just um, stood outside in the in the wind, <laughs> just to dry myself off. It's horrible. It's not thick rain. It's thin. It's that fine, fast rain, and it's horrible. It is horrid. And I wish that blob went away from that camera. <laughs> I think there's going to be a lot of wind coming from the other direction to get rid of that one. This one, on the other hand, is doing all right. So, it's heat time. I just realised. <laughs> So yes, that is all the practices done, uh, as I stop getting distracted by whatever my brain is thinking. Uh, we've got the heat, so starting off will be the Total Carton Zero Cadets, they'll be the first ones ploughing out onto the track and uh, trying their best out there. They'll be uh, heats number 1, 8 and 15. Uh, Honda Cadets will follow, uh, being heats number 2, 9 and 16. Mini Maxes will be the third heat of the day, uh, 10th and 17th heats. Junior Rotax, 4, 11, and 18. Total Carton, 0 Bambinos will be 5, 12, and 19 on the number of heats. Uh, Senior Rotax, 6, 13, and number 20. And then the double 177 and 177 Masters, 7, 14, and 21. 21 heats to finish today uh, with seven finals being races 22 to 28. I should really be posting the program every now and then onto the YouTube live stream because that'll probably be something helpful. If you want something like that, uh, I could pop it into the pre-show of uh, the uh, program. Uh, which, by the way, we've invented QR codes. We didn't know you can get them for free. So, if you are ever up at Clay Pigeon, uh, check the back of the the program. It left my brain. Check the back of the program. Uh, you'll be able to scan a QR code and head straight over to the live stream. Uh, I'll actually send you to the subscribe button. Which, by the way, if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button. Oh, 
James Millwood with a bit of poetry. That's actually got me grinning. There are holes in the sky where the rain gets in, but they're terribly small, which is why the rain is thin. That's actually quite soothing. <laughs> Thank you, James. A bit of poetry before we uh, wait for the heats to arrive onto our screens and onto the track, which hasn't flooded yet. <laughs> <laughs> you can just see it this camera pretty much sums up the conditions of clay at the moment even just listening to the rain you can have a rain ASMR just throughout the day today okay <laughs> Gonna move a monitor. <laughs> hey, good luck, Jensen Hooky, Honda Cadet number thirty-three. Watching you in the warm and dry. <laughs> I'm gonna put that over later. I'm gonna put that in. Jake or Andy, mostly moist. Whoa, that's my jeans at the moment. Very moist. That's because of rain. To the dirty-minded people out there. <laughs> that's only my brain, I think. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. Disgusting. It's horrible. The headphones, I think. <laughs> My headphones is what keeping the sound down up here. <laughs> I'm going to watch this back later on, like, this afternoon when, I, when we're all finished. And I'm going to be like, damn. <laughs> it's just... I could I could just have a <laughs> I could just have a rain thing a uh, rain session. Don't have a break. Just just put the microphone on full blast and just let you listen to the rain. It's it's horrible. Or as Joker Andy one says, mostly moist. I might make an overlay that just says moist. <laughs> it is moist. Uh, but there's not much happening on the track at the moment. <laughs> We're still waiting for. Uh, for everything to get underway again. So, how many of us are actually in the dry watching this? Because I'm going to assume most of you are, but um, some of us might be watching it up here. You never know. <laughs> That's it. If you're up at Clay right now, pop a comment and see how you're keeping dry by the way i feel sorry for this marshal on the left side of the screen look at him he's on the other side of the post oh bless him i was, I, I, I do feel sorry for the marshals today it's very wet and rin wet, blah, 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 very wet and windy i don't know if you can tell i've said it multiple times i clicked install for a thing and it's not gone through For those who like the sound of rain, I'm on the same level as you. It is, I, I'm really liking the sound of this rain. <laughs> it's soothing. I'm watching someone's awning though, and I'm just hoping it doesn't blow away. My god, that awning. I think the car's dry, but... <laughs> I don't know how dry is the other question. Mason Perrin, I'm at home because I checked the weather. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, I don't blame you. Right, here's action! We got it! So ladies and gentlemen, total, total Karting Zero cadets for their qualifying, ladies and gentlemen. Race one of the day. Of a total of, as I flick a page in the program, 28. One out of 28. 
Simone Hookie on the YouTube live stream says, Good luck to Jason Hookie, Honda Cadet number 33. He wants to let you know, watching you in the warm and dry. He is in the warm and dry. Quite a few people are as well watching this. From home. Which, by the way, if you do want to watch it inside of your awning, instead of uh, getting absolutely soaked on the side of the circuit, uh, if you have a program on you, back of the program is the uh, YouTube section of the program. Scan that QR code and you'll get over sent over to the YouTube live stream. Well, actually, you'll get sent over to a subscribe button. Hit that first and then you'll be able to watch... Uh, well, you can hit that if you want, uh, and then watch the YouTube live stream uh, live for yourselves. But meanwhile, out on the track, co Total Carton Zero Cadets, Max Winfield currently with a 53.99. That is the fastest by 1.3 seconds at this current time. <laughs> so let's see what these uh, can produce for us today who will be starting uh, ahead for the qualifying sessions as we get going throughout the day Corey Chapman in car number 5 currently third fastest 57.63 Alice Garrett uh, shooting up the order as well. Max Winfield flying up as well. A couple of uh, names scooting up. Uh, Corey Chapman, car number five, second at the current time. Cody Trace uh, doing a 54.27. Trevelyan Sansom in car number 10, fifth fastest with a 58.02. Uh, and then sixth, seventh, and eighth, which is Stanley Stafford, Jack Johnson, and William Swales in the minutes. Stanley Stafford only just in the uh, in the minutes with a one minute oh one. But my God, is it windy! A lot of me at the moment is just praying for these cameras. <laughs> Oh, what lovely weather to go karting together with you. <laughs> uh. So we've got two minutes 56 left on the clock. Max Winfield currently fastest, 51.51. Uh, that's the best so far of the day. Max Winfield showing his pace quite a lot at the moment. Kerry Probert says, good luck, Ellis Garrett. Currently second at the moment uh, for this qualifying session. Well done to him so far. Uh, someone is, by the looks of it, on the other side of the track stuck. I can't see him because he's behind the container uh, and the ambulance. <laughs> I've bit, we've got a bit of a dead spot there for myself. William Swales currently in third position for this qualifying session. 53.93 is his best. Uh, but at the moment, it's Max Winfield, who is uh, quite far ahead. When I say quite far ahead, it's just changed to 1.2 seconds ahead. Cody Trace flying up the order, uh, up two positions from where he was to a 52.75. So some good times popping out here on the uh, from the Total Carton Zero Cadets. As uh, we dip under two minutes on the clock, in total it's actually one minute 37. Stanley Stafford still not being able to break the one minutes just yet. <laughs> Nigel's going to... Nigel from the circuit just texts me, Bleh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, he's, he's going to get it. <laughs> so, a minute to go, just as I flip the microphone back on. Max Winfield, 51.34, fastest lap time. Will we see Stanley Stafford in cart one break the minutes? It is very tough conditions out there, so... Uh, obviously... We will find that out. There is a driver off uh, down at the hairpin, which uh, unfortunately we can't get any closer to with the cameras at the moment. 
Talking about cameras, cameraman. Out on the circuit with his own camera. So Carton Zero photographer. There's a, a lot more of the carts go round the track so far. One flying down the main straight. Max Winfield breaking the 50s, a 50.82. 1.9 seconds ahead of Cody Trace at the moment, who's uh, done a 52.75 and able to improve at the moment. Three seconds left on the clock. As the checkered flag comes out, Max Winfield improves his lap time again at 50.60. Let's see who else... Uh, Does better. William Swales, second position at the moment, up three positions, 52.6. So literally just bang on two seconds fast, uh, slower, sorry, uh, slower than the other driver here. Let's get the old alpha time and show you all the times on the screen uh, for all of you at home and watching inside of the building as well. Coming over the line now, as well as the number six, Cody Trace. Only able to go third fastest at the moment. Uh, 52.91. William Swales unable to improve as well. And sticking out with second position for the qualifying session. So I believe that might be all of them uh, that have crossed the line one spinning just at post five. Uh, just at the exit of the horseshoe. So not a lot of people know where the uh, posts are for the Marshall posts. <laughs> I'm so used to saying that, uh, being up here. But that is it. The Total Carton Zero Cadets with their qualifying complete. Max Winfield taking pole for that one. William Swales second. Cody Trace third. And then alongside him will be Ellis Garrett later on today. So that will do it for that one. Uh, our next heat will follow next, which is, as I continue to flip over the program. By the way, if you do want a program, inside main reception. So up next will be the Honda Cadets. We'll see how they perform in these beautiful clay pigeon conditions. Also known as wet. <laughs> as they come flying on out, it's the Cadets. Great to see them back out again. Sam Watts, current number 38. The first one to cross the line. As we do heat number one. Oh, that's a formation lap. Here we go, ladies and gents. This is the first one here. I have some new stuff for the stream as well. I'm so excited. So, the number 38 going around the corner at the momento. Let's see what we can achieve from these cadets as they go around for their formation lap. Back with the formations. Uh, let's see how they do. As uh, oh, I'm going to swap the camera angle so you can actually see them come down the main straight. But ladies and gentlemen, let's start it off with... Currently a false start, so we're going to redo this one. Well, it's technically not actually started yet, but... <laughs> Let's try again. Yep, new overlays, ladies and gentlemen. False start. Hee <laughs> hee. Custom made. Hit me up. <laughs> so as we go back around again, Sam Watt and Conrad Barton together uh, at the moment at the front. They're the ones that will be controlling this race start. So let's see if they'll be able to do it again this time as they come around the track once again. I'm going to see if I can use my pinky finger and my uh, index at the same time. It's going to be horrible. So, coming down the main straight. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Is it a start? As we head off racing for heat number one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what they can achieve and who's going to be out there fastest for today. And uh, who's going to head out the pack at the moment. That's the number 38, Sam Mott. Being able to fly out a little bit further than everyone else at this current time. Going 
going around the horseshoe. Uh, into the horseshoe now and uh, out of the horseshoe towards Buttons. First time I mentioned that corner today. We can see how this achieves later on as they're coming up towards the top bend and down the soggy straight. I'm going to call it soggy straight today because it's wet. Who is going to be where? Let's get it out onto the screens. So currently Sam Moore ahead, followed by Sam Green Gomez in cart number 77. Then Ava Morris, followed by Harry Farrell, Jensen Hookey, Maria Robert, uh, Roberto, one of the novices out there. Up three positions into sixth, uh, cart number 15 out there on the circuit. It's great to see a novice so high up and achieving well so far. Early on, Luke Ford in 7th position at the moment, and Max Lovell in 8th, and a massive splash at the back of the container uh, on the track in the centre there, uh, going out the exit of uh, the S's and the start of the straight. I think someone must have had a bit of a dive into the puddle. Oh, these puns are not going to go well today, are they? Coming down the main straight, none of them going too wide just yet, but they're coming down like a train. It's Sam Green Gomez arrows ahead now though, followed by Sam Mott losing position on that lap. Eva Morris hanging out in third, but Harry Farrell is right behind as they go down at the back straight. Is anybody going to swim over the sausage? And he does! Our leader, Sam Green Gomez, hit in the bit of water that was uh, at the exit there of the sausage curb that we all know and love. So will that mix up the order a little bit? We shall find out very shortly as they go around the horseshoe and through buttons. This could get interested in what changes it up. It's uh, I can actually just see that puddle that's on the other side of the sausage. Note to every driver out there, avoid the sausage curb. <laughs> Otherwise you're going to have a very wet day. <laughs> well, it's already wet anyway, but you'll be even more wet. <laughs> I've lost my headphones. <laughs> so on that lap, Sam Green Gomez, who did take a little splash, uh, didn't lose first place, though. He's currently still out ahead, only by 0.23 seconds, as Sam Mott is uh, right behind. Ava Morris still hanging out in third, with Harry Frail right behind. Unfortunately, Maria Roberto in cart number 15, dropping down to eighth as well uh, from that lap. Uh, the couple of laps that we've had. Max Lovell currently with the fastest lap time of this heat. Uh, with a 48.46, so well done to him so far. As we come down the main straight now, who is going to change any positions? The number 77 still out ahead at the moment. Followed by Ava Morris, who's gone up a position. Sam Mott losing a few positions there. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't see what happened as it is very wet up here, so I'm just relying on uh, a few bits of the screen. But uh, Ava Morris up into second with Harry Farrell up into third. So that's a great change there as we're uh, rolling through. A few changes there going side by side before the horseshoe. And then like a recovery drive from Sam Mott there. As we go up to the top bend, second position of Ava Morris just hanging in there again as they come over the line. Four minutes to go. Will we see any changes? As they're all just just hanging into this circuit at the moment. Ava Morris in second, Harry Farrell in third still. Uh, Luke Ford joining in with some of them as well. As they're coming around the hairpin and up into the horseshoe now is where we are currently. 77 followed by the uh, 32 of Ava Morris, trying to catch up as best as uh, she can. But a lot of the drivers are just uh, being in tow at the moment. As we come down the main straight, let's see if there's any other changes. At the moment, your top seven of, is unchanged. And, uh, well, your top 10 is unchanged at the moment. They're all just hanging it out. We'll see these conditions. Uh, any sort of move is a very risky move, uh, especially when the track is as soggy as it is. Fortunately, it's not the Arctic Ocean out there. Well, it is sort of if you go over the sausage curb. <laughs> There's going to be some splashes coming from there today, I can already tell. 
Two minutes 30, uh, just about to click over the clock. <laughs> uh, as one of our bat markers of today, the number 86, Charlie Wood, uh, just hanging in there in his own little race on his own. But here comes the main pack. And the number 32, Ava Morris is catching strong with uh, Sam Green Gomez out there. Oh, and a spin. Oh, I think I might have just done commentary jinx there. I think that might have been Ava Morris who lost it coming into Billy's. I'll find out for you in just a moment's time. But Sam Green Gomez has a bit of a lead now. And yes, unfortunately, I think just looking then, Ava Morris has lost a few positions there, which is really unfortunate. The comment commentator's curse hitting your screens. One of them off at the uh, at the back straight there. Unfortunately, doesn't not sure if he's just bogged out from uh, the giant puddles that we have at the S's or what. Managed to get going again though, so that's the main thing. Sam Green Gomez now leading by a second, almost a second and a half. Luke Ford up. Unfortunately, yes, Ava Morris has also lost out on that one. Uh, Ava Morris, so managing to stay up in the top six, only uh, hanging into sixth at the moment. So let's see if she'll be able to do a recovery back up again. One minute, 11 left on the clock. Luke Ford, like I said, car number 96 in second. Max Lovell up into third position, up four places that lap. So a few spins there helping him very well. But otherwise, it's all sort of maturing out there. There's only a few drivers near each other. And uh, any move sort of risky at the moment. As they come down the main straight, Sam Green Gomez being caught up. Luke Ford has managed to find a lot of pace that lap. And also setting the fastest lap of a 47.55. So that's going to change that one up. Will Luke Ford be able to claim that first position? 26 seconds left on the clock. So it's a lot of time to still be played for uh, today. And we're going to see how we go later on. As uh, Harry Farrell goes over the line. Losing quite a lot of positions as well today. From a few spins. But nevertheless, we will uh, have, we have the rest of the day to go. Obviously, it's only heat one of the day. So let's see how we go. And uh, just looking. Luke Ford right now. Seven seconds left. Last lap. One last lap. Will Luke Ford be able to claim that first place as he's getting right up close now? Coming towards the S's. Well, skating through the S's is a lot more like a drift. Let's see how it goes. He has lost a bit of time there uh, at the S's. It's a bit hard to keep your traction there for now. Uh, just judging from the other drivers out there. As we come through the horseshoe. The number 77 still ahead by a little margin. Meanwhile, Max Lovell still hanging into third position and Sam Mott in fourth. But ladies and gentlemen, coming down the main straight now to take the checkered flag. Very close there at the end as he went really wide. It's Sam Green Gomez to take the win for the first heat of 2022. Luke Ford in second position and Max Lovell taking third well done to those three drivers we're getting into the top three sam mott in fourth ava morris uh, being able to hang into sixth but the driver with the fastest lap 47 46 is jensen hooky so there we go heat one complete of 2022 for the honda cadets Let's see what the uh, Mini Max is able to do, uh, will be able to do later on. Oh, the Honda Cadets! I do, if <laughs> we do enjoy what I, I do enjoy watching them. It's a bit harder to commentate when my right side is a little bit blocked for the view. It's a bit like that, but a bit worse and more fuzzy. It had to be right on the track, didn't it? That one blob. I'm going to have beef with that blob the whole entire day. So, coming now onto track is the Minimaxes for their first heat of 2022. Hope you're all having a great 2022, by the way, so far. Obviously, it's February. 
already, which is crazy. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day. I don't have a Valentine's. <laughs> I'm gonna point that out, but who does? Oh, I've got my birthday to enjoy the day after though, so I'm not worried. God, you, can see, you can see all the spray coming off if anybody goes through a puddle or anything out there. It is, it is lovely. So, coming down the main straight, here we go. As we go green for the Minimax first heat. Harry Cottrell, cart number 49. Followed by Freddie Baker in cart number 18. Let's see how we go flying over and through the course at the moment. I quickly launch what's out. So, Freddie Baker currently out on top uh, with a 46.98. Uh, followed by Harry Cottrell on that last lap. But let's see what we can get from these Mini Maxes uh, later on. We've had one in the tyre wall already today. As they come f skating through the top bend, down and round. As uh, Freddie Baker is leading by seven seven hundred tenths of a second, uh, followed by Harry Cottrell, then Joshua Withcombe, Lucas Howell up there in fourth position. Uh, Martin Wright, Ellis Snow, and Jack West all losing positions at races uh, that lap as well. That race, there it is. But the top three are skating away from the others at the moment as they are going on through uh, towards the horseshoe and through the horseshoe. Up to buttons. Let's see where he can go from there. Number 75 coming around there. Almost looked like he was trying to make a move. Being waved on from the balcony is all of the... One of these three drivers. Freddie Baker still out, out ahead. 0.27 seconds. Uh, between him and... Uh, between Harry Cottrell and Freddie Baker at the moment. Uh, as they all group up at the S's and get close as they go towards and back down the back straight. Very close between those at the moment. Uh, it could all change though uh, in any part of the track. It's very, very changing weather up here at the moment. So this rain not stopping. A brave dive down the inside, managing just to keep it there. The down near the back of the pack. Let's see what number that was. That was the. Number 75, Kai Vich, uh, Vetich, sorry, uh, doing quite well there. Harry Cottrell losing time there to Freddie Baker. Freddie Baker just trying to get some pace uh, out there. Martin Wright setting the fastest lap then, 45-49. Uh, trying to charge down as we go on through. That's a splash there. Uh, as they go through the uh, billies. And one skating across the grass. That oh, poor grass. Uh, losing control coming out of the kink. It's going gonna, it's gonna to catch some people off guard throughout the day. And that is the number 70 of uh, Wilf Butler. Who uh, did a bit of cross, grass, bleh, grass cutting for the circuit. Very kind of you. Freddie Baker leading by over half a second at the moment, so uh, pace is well. Uh, managing just to stick it in at the moment, which is great uh, for him, but for Harry Cottrell, he's got to find some pace compared to Joshua Withcombe, who's just hanging out and watching what's happening with third. Another driver skating over 
the track there. Uh, the grass even. Oh, that's going to be a popular spot today, isn't it? As they're all leading round, trying to do their best to stay on to the tarmac. Freddie Baker possibly still out ahead. Let's see as we come down the top bend and down the main straight. Let's see what they can achieve right now. It's getting very close between the two. So Freddie Baker losing some time there. And uh, the number 49 of Harry Cottrell right behind. As we go over and around Billy's. Through the S's. Will Freddie Baker have a bit more of a cleaner line? And he does. As uh, the number 49 of Harry Cottrell goes a little bit sideways. Coming out there. Charlie Parker, number 48. Uh, managed to stick into ninth position at the moment. One of the novices. As we go around the horseshoe. A very skatey and speedy Freddie Baker there. Just uh, trying to move as much water off the track as he can. As he comes on round. As we go around the top bend. And at the moment. Still out ahead. As they go over the kink. And through Billy's. Through the S's. Oh, and a spin at Billy's as well. And that looks like... Oh, it's Fred... Oh, wow. That was the number 45. Harry Cottrell losing it at Billy's there. Uh, which has now affected the order. So Joshua Withcombe now up one. But that gap. Freddie Baker has enough for a small mistake. If he does make a mistake, that is. I'm not going to say he will. Steve Haywood says, Go Fred, even goes well in the rain. Ooh. And that is proven to point at the moment. He's not the fastest at the moment, mind. Martin Wright with a 45-1-0 on the last lap. So currently claiming that fastest lap at the moment. Freddie Baker doing well in the rain, mind. As uh, he is currently leading by 2.93 seconds. Doing well to uh, keep that car under control as they go around the circuit. Freddie Baker followed by Joshua Withcombe, followed by Harry Cottrell. That is your top three at the moment. Martin Wright making a position up on that previous lap and uh, being able to claim fourth currently. 50 seconds left on the clock at the moment as we go around Billy's for some of the back load of... Uh, wow, this is more the mid-pack, sorry. Jarek Metters in car number 53, one of the other novices out there today as well. Imagine to do well, currently in seventh position. And uh, comes over the line now, is your leader, Freddie Baker, who's uh, currently leading by f um, nearly four seconds here. So Harry Cottrell could be claiming his second position up at any point. As you can see, coming into the S's now, he's closing that gap. So there's not many seconds left on this clock. Uh, so we'll be looking at uh, one last lap to go. A splash by one of the drivers uh, coming out of Billy's there. Uh, sorry, yeah, coming out of the exit of the S's over the sausage. And uh, losing uh, some vital time out there on the track. Having a dive is not going to do well. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Last lap now as Freddie Baker goes over the line with a comfortable lead to the number 45 of Joshua Withcombe. Harry Cottrell catching very closely as they go over the S's and down the back straight. Don't want to go over the sausage curve. You want to be on the left side of the sausage and uh, not the right side because as a few drivers have already experienced, you're not going to be... Having a dry time there. You're going to have a splash. A big splash. So, ladies and gentlemen, coming up the top bend now and going to be taking the checker flag. It is 
your winner for this one, Freddie Baker, taking the win for Heat 1 for the Minimaxes. As they all come over the line, Joshua Withcombe managing to stay into second position at the end of Heat 1. Harry Cottrell taking third. Lucas Howell in fourth position and with the fastest lap. Martin Wright, car number 14 in fifth position. 44.76. And we're getting water everywhere. <laughs> How are you all doing, everybody? Those who have just tuned in, you've just... Witness the Minimax Heat number one. You've missed uh, Total Kart and Zero Cadets and the Honda Cadets uh, for their heats as well. Lovely, lovely weather. This just proves you don't need waterproof cables. <laughs> Who needs waterproof cables, ladies and gentlemen? Well, I actually probably would want to somewhat waterproof them, but... Who am I kidding? I think my coat's gonna have to go on now, gent, ladies and gents. Note this, it's still down. <laughs> I see you splodge on the screen. Shoo. <laughs> Shoo. So next we got the junior oh, junior rotax this could go either way Hear that rain, man. <laughs> that rain. It's horrid. I don't want to leave this commentary booth. <laughs> oh, wait, I don't. Somebody would have to, though. Oh, you can just see from how windy it is on the cameras as well. It's horrid. I can see the cameras from where I'm sat as well. So I can keep an eye on them to make sure they're doing okay. If you know why camera goes out. So, out on to the track now. It is the Junior Road Tax. 20, oh, God. 22 drivers in this rain. Woohoo! Let's see how this goes, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? That is 22 drivers. <laughs> Let's go over and get Carnage. You never know. <laughs> so here we go. Up to the top bend now. Let's see what these junior road taxis can do as we are going down the main straight. 
Welcome to the Junior Rotax Heat. It's green flag. And now everybody's dead on the track. That is lovely. Look at that list. Lucas Hayden and Arthur Thacker at the front for the start of this one. Let's see how we go. Look at the train of them go. One of them spun at the S's, though. Eh? As we are going through the hairpin towards a horseshoe, as we go on round, that is the number 71 of Leo Purchase making a decent start to this race. As we go through the top bend and down the main straight, let's get your updated look. couple of people taking a brave move using that uh, kink curve as best as they can uh, but a few of them sliding off though just on the corner of the screen you might be able to see Leo Perch is currently in front with a 55 uh, 4566 is the fastest lap time uh, Billy Edgecombe in second uh, with a 4684 and Arthur Thacker at the moment in third but has to defend off a lot of people someone made a brave move down the inside there and uh, got a bit touchy uh, just where he's uh, hit a puddle coming on out. You touch a puddle, you're going to be uh, flying off there. He was lucky to keep it on the track, but nevertheless, we still keep going. Leo Perch is flying off in this wet weather. Billy Edgecombe doing well. Ollie Stevens up three positions at the moment. Benjamin Bartlett uh, up as well. Samuel Watts as well. Arthur Thacker losing quite a few positions that uh, lap as well as we uh, fly through the rest of the the rest of this race for now. I now have two cameras with spodges on them. Both in two awkward and annoying racing positions. <laughs> so, top bend. Well, actually, down the main straight. <laughs> the number 71 coming over the line there. Leo Perches flying on through. Biddy Edgecombe still... Staying in second at the moment. Uh, quite a few other the drivers down the bottom. Uh, top 10, Finn Smith just getting into the top 10 now. Uh, a spin up at Billy's as well by one of the drivers. And uh, uh, quite a few of them losing it on the kink as they go over. Uh, trying to control the conditions as best they can. Leo Purchase is absolutely sailing through the track at the moment. Peter Bond on the YouTube channel says, Well done, Danny Newman. Uh, sixth position. Hold on. Uh, shame about the spin. Yeah. Well, try and control as best you can out there. It's very tough conditions for all the drivers. So you can only do the best as you can as the lovely water likes to drip onto the cameras and not budge off the screens so Leo purchase ahead followed by Billy Edgecombe is still in second Charles Green uh, in third at the moment as this rain absolutely dumps it even further now uh, someone's also lost it at the entrance of Billy's number four uh, sorry Billy's uh, the horseshoe uh, the number 44 Can't even see him on the screen. Leo Purchase, uh, 2.86 uh, second lead at the moment. Going over the start finish straight. Charles Green currently with the fastest lap time of a 32-2-1. Uh, so catching up as best as he can to Billy Edgecombe, who's currently in second position. As they're going over and around the horseshoe. And uh, the hairpin on the horseshoe, even. A couple of drivers, nearly a three wide overtake there. As uh, we go around the horseshoe as well. So, all very mixed currently. But down the main straight, Leo Perch is followed by Billy Edgecombe, 2.72. Closing the gap a little bit. Charles Green also uh, a second gap. So, closing that one as well. We can see how it goes throughout as more of the drivers come skating over this skating over this kink and into Billy's
as uh, we still continue on. Leah Perch is still out ahead. Oh, that gap is closing, though. Billy Edgecombe catching up. Charles Green, though, catching even further. That second position is at risk. 43.08 is the fastest lap time of this race so far. We lost a few drivers this race as well. Benjamin Bartlett's pitted. Arthur Thacker's pitted as well. And Saul Kornberg, I think, is retired somewhere. Uh, yeah, yeah, as he's uh, currently in one of the cut-throughs at the moment. Uh, getting dry. One of the marshal posts. Lovely. Two minutes, 28 left on the clock. These drivers trying to battle the conditions as best they can. One person that's been doing it very well so far is Charles Green in third at the moment. And obviously Leo Purchase as well, sticking into that second so far. As they're going around Billy's. Very close between each two, the Charles Green and the Billy Edgecombe. As they do a cut through, there we go. The number 77 of Charles Green making a brilliant move there at the S's. And a very brave move at the S's, I could say. As uh, he manages to squeeze ahead of the driver. Each move is at risk uh, every time because you can always lose it. Out there on the track. The hat's come off. <laughs> I can hear myself a bit better without the hat. So, just now a minute to go. Uh, Leo Purchase still ahead. Charles Green obviously making a position up last lap uh, with a very great move down at the yeses. But uh, at this current time, your top three Leo Purchase, Charles Green, Billy Edgecombe. Uh, looking down the list, Lucas Hayden is in 12th position at the moment. Ollie Stevens in 13th. Archie Buttle in 14th. And the gap between Leo Purchase and uh, very charging Charles Green. It's only 1.93 seconds, 30 seconds left on the clock till uh, who knows what will happen. While well, the driver's been able to control this kink as best they can as they swim through. Water jokes. <laughs> Alexander Senna down in 18th position at the moment. Uh, George Spilsbury. Popping over the track, doing his best to uh, com combat the weather conditions. But meanwhile, there is one last lap for Leo Purchase to get ahead of, uh, to stay, stay ahead of Charles Green, who's been charging with the fastest lap time just set that last lap. So he's very determined now. Charles Green, 42.77 is the fastest lap time. Let's see what these two kind of achieve as they go around the horseshoe. As he goes around buttons. <laughs> the timekeeper's saying, Where's Charles Green got this pace from? Who where is he actually where has he actually got this from? But it's Leo Purchase, he'll be taking the checkered flag for the start of this first heat. Billy Edgecombe staying into third, only just about. I must have had a bit of a slow lap there as uh, Reza has uh, managed to gain back 1.2 seconds in that lap time. But Leo Purchase take a, takes the win for heat number one for the Junior Rotax and a very speedy Charles Green. 42.65. 42. He's the only one to get into the 42. Oh, no, he's not the only one to get into 42. So I'm only lying. <laughs> time to, timekeeper saying good effort out there. Uh, as he's noticed, half a second quicker than P1 for the four laps prior. Wow. Facts. <laughs> That's crazy, man. He did come from nowhere, mind it. He, 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 he flew. He did fly. But that will do it for the Junior Rotax for now. We will see them a little bit later on uh, with a speedy Charles Green. Who is uh, apparently very good in the wet. <laughs> we'll find out what they can do a bit later on.
So, Turtle Kart in Zero Bambinos are next. It's great to see them again. Still trying to combat these splodges that I get on the lens. That's the only problem when it's wet. <laughs> it just won't budge the one in the middle. <laughs> So, very quietly out onto the track now. It is the Total Carton Zero Bambino for their qualifying session. Alfie Garrett, Nikita Roberts uh, coming out onto the track. Then we have Hector Dickey and Billy Gromit. Let's see what they can do for their one. So this is a qualifying session for these Bambinos, so we're going to see who will be able to achieve the fastest lap for their following heat later on. As the uh, wind gets aggressively ev uh, even more aggressive. Number 7, Nikita Roberts having a bit of a uh, spin at the... Spin at the horseshoe there. <laughs> Max Marston saying there's going to be lots of crashes today, I bet. We've not had one yet. And I hope we won't get one. <laughs> the drivers are doing well so far to keep on the track, keep on the tarmac. Uh, you get the odd, odd one that uh, flies off uh, every now and then, but uh, no crashes yet. And touch wood, there will not. Kerry Probert, here we go. Good luck, Alfie Garrett. Yep. Currently fastest, 1 minute 4. Uh, Hector Dickey with a 1 minute 12.71. Nikita Roberts with a 1.17.21. And Billy Gromit with a 1.19.83. Now I'm going to take a tactical pee break. So I will uh, continue the commentary in a few moments time. See you in a bit.
Right. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> Yeah, it, it, it's horrible out there. I don't blame anybody who's at home right now. <sighs> so, ladies and gentlemen, there's 20 seconds left on the clock. Alfie Garrett's uh, fastest lap time of a 1 minute 2 out there. Nikita Roberts with a 1.07 as the fastest lap time. Hector Dickey doing a 1.09 for their fastest. And then Billy Gromit. With a 1 minute 13, that is the order so far for this one as a checker flag goes out. And man, it is horrible still. I had to run out of the commentary box for a few seconds and my god, that was a mistake. <laughs> So there we go, that is the qualifying session done for the Total Carton Zero Bambinos. Uh, we'll be following next with the Senior Rotax. See which ones of those can uh, handle the track conditions as best they can. So what horrible weather we have today, ladies and gentlemen. It is horrible. That's me taking off my jacket because it's making me cold. Which doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh. Rightio. So senior road tax is next. Ooh. Any supporters out there for the Senior Rotax in the comments of the YouTube? Make sure to pop it down there if you uh, want to get supporting as they fly on out. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is time. It is the Senior Rotax. Are they all going to stay out on the track? Yep, yeah, they're staying out on the track as they're out there. Let's see how this goes as we go down the back straight. Let's see who is going to hold out for this one. This could get very interesting for the start. As they all start lining up, ready to go for the start of this heat number one for the senior Rotax. I could do with the heater up here. <laughs> I have two holes in the wall, so it's cold. So, as they come down the main straight, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is the start of the senior Rotaxes. The guy at the front flew off into the grass, having to do a recovery drive back onto the track as best they can, whilst everybody else avoids him. Jack Maven just popping over the line as well, so we're still all good at the moment, but the gent that was in front just not being able to stay onto the uh, grey stuff and had to go onto the green stuff. But all making it steady around the corner. Going through buttons now is your leader making a huge splash and a spin from that splash. Trying to take a uh, deeper way. Another driver. Slamming on the brakes and spinning just to avoid that one. Changing up the order again, but here we go as they go through the kink of the track. Man, that changed up the order massively then. To what was nearly a comfortable lead to a splash in the deep end. Avoid puddles at all costs. <laughs> that was unexpected there. I'm going to come to a lead from the beginning and uh, unfortunately not being able to do it well. I think it was the number 11 uh, of uh, Magic Chimera, unfortunately, plunging into a puddle. 
So down the main straight comes you a couple of drivers. There is Jordan Morris, followed by Transponder Number, followed by Cameron Crockett. Archie Brown, <laughs> who is a bit slow coming out of there. Um, or she uh, coming through Billy's then. But as we keep on going around, uh, changing up the orders a little bit. The number 16, Jordan Morris being able to do as best they can out there. Down the main straight now. Let's get a look at those times. Jordan Morris ahead by 2.16 seconds. Fast lap time as well, 43.15. Uh, Arch Brown in second position, followed by Cameron Crockett and Ben Page in fourth position currently. Benjamin Ballou behind with George Walker as well as a few changes are being made with uh, lots of spray coming off of these drivers. It is not nice out there. Driver making a small splash down the inside and will he be able to keep it? Is the question unfortunately not just yet trying to avoid the puddle getting a lot better traction though going around the outside and uh, looks like making a position up as we go over through into Billy's now Archie Brown in second position Ben Page up into third as Cameron Crockett's made a mistake somewhere getting quite slow and uh, going down into sixth so Ben Page up into third Benjamin Ballou in fourth Jensen Watts in fifth position George Walker Losing a lot of time there as well. Uh, losing 10 positions on that one. And another spin there by the number 17, Jack Maidman, not being able to do uh, keep it on the uh, grey stuff as well as uh, many of the other drivers out here at the moment. Ben Page doing well to keep in third at the moment. Got a lot of other drivers behind him, but Jordan Morris ahead by 2.86 seconds. Very tough conditions for these drivers, so it's uh, well done to them to all try and keep well. The number 11 of Magic Camara, 42.81, fastest lap time at the moment, making some positions up. Uh, after that, uh, Button's mistake earlier as he uh, dived down into the deep end. So trying his best to uh, get back up the order a bit. As we go down the main straight for our leader of Jordan Morris, 42.8 seconds is the fastest lap time to be, only beating it by uh, a thousandth of a second at the moment. Very spread out by some of the drivers, but it's the battle for, looks like third right now. As we go down the main straight, Ben Page at risk. To go over the kink, managed to get a little bit of extra uh, extra time there. Going over the kink, but he has got Benjamin Ballou and Jensen Watts creeping up behind. Is he too comfortable there? We will never know. As we go around the horseshoe. And towards Buttons, Ben Page managing to stay ahead at the current time. As we come down the main straight for our leader. Jordan Morris there. So you all come nearly sideways coming over the uh, main, uh, over down the... Oh, I've lost my words. <laughs> Jordan Morris ahead, 42-61. Archie Brown in second position. Ben Page still battling to keep that third. It looks like it's at risk as someone is trying to go around the outside. Some very clever moves there. Ben Page trying to defend it. That is... I think that's the number 78. We'll have a look in just a second. 
It's just finding so much time out there, just going around the outside. So, down they come now. Ben Page is still in. Oh, Ben Page up into second position. So that was Archie Brown who uh, went a bit too wide then. So there we go. So missing out on the action there. Archie Brown, the one who's uh, lost a bit of time. But Ben Page there going slow, avoiding the puddles at the... Uh, at the sausage curb, so also Heen losing some time. One of the, the ones at the back trying to get out, and a massive splash there from Ben Page as he's forced to stay on the inside. Managing to keep it under control, though. That could have been a disaster for Ben Page there, but Jordan Morris leading by five seconds at this current time. Down the main straight then, Archie Brown back up into second, Ben Page only losing one position that lap. I should probably say it's a soggy Ben Page after the uh, puddle he just went through. As more drivers come down the main straight, Magic Amera making a recovery drive up into ninth at the moment. That is Jordan Morris who is currently chilling with the fastest lap and ahead of the pack so far. Go through buttons of drivers side by side. We could either end uh, one way or another. But Jordan Morris has just sailed away with this one. Hey, another water joke. There you go. <laughs> ben Page has lost two, three positions that lap. It is difficult and tough conditions. A lot of the drivers making brave decisions for overtaking. Some of them being all right and some of them not. Magic Camara up into eighth now. But coming down the main straight now is your leader, Jordan Morris, with a quite a lead. Currently right now, uh, 6.88 seconds the last one. It might possibly be seven on this one as uh, second position comes over your screen. Over seven seconds. Is the gap between first and second. Archie Brown managing to stay into second at the moment. Jetson Watts in third. Benjamin Blue fourth. Cameron Crockett number 88 in fifth. Brandon Clean Nagelvoort in sixth. Ben Page in seventh. And will Magic Amero may be able to get any other additional places up? We shall find out. We've lost Andrew Hughes has gone into the pits. That was actually four laps ago. That was actually quite a few laps ago. <laughs> but there we go, check a flag for Jordan Morris. Who has uh, taken that race by a lead of 7.71 seconds in total. He just sailed away from the rest of the competition. And as such, takes a win for the senior Rotax heat number one. Not many spins in that one. It's more of the puddles that were causing issues out there today uh, for the senior road tax, and especially the one that, that was discovered at Buttons. That was a splash and a half, uh, and a splash you definitely don't want to be in. You didn't want me hands up. <laughs> So, how is everybody doing in the YouTube comments? If you've got anybody you would like to support, make sure to pop it into the YouTube comment section. And it'll be popped out over the tannoy. As always, it's great to see you all supporting your drivers, uh, even if it's family or friends. <laughs> so, 177s are out next. Oh, they're out now. <laughs> so, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's the 177s and 177 Masters out now onto the track. Let's see how this one goes. Peter Bond says, Come on, Tom Mountford. You got this. Thumbs up emoji. And then Roof Rat Racing for another thumbs up. Simon Kebble says, Go Reese, number 177 King. Ooh. Uh. 
Let's see how this goes. Someone's already spun on uh, the formation lap. I don't know why I said the word Z, but there we go. <laughs> Spinning on the formation. Put me down a bit, but let's see how this one goes. Notice we uh, don't have all the... So, there we go. Coming at the top bend now. Let's see what we get as we go over the start finish. Green flag and we're off. So, what are we going to see? I can see Joe out there. Joe! I can see Joe out there. Uh, doing as best he can to avoid everyone. Uh, someone spun at Billy's as well. Try, everybody just trying to hold on to the track as best they can. It's tough conditions out there. Let's see how we go. As we go and round side by side of two of the drivers. That is the... I think it's number... 92, I think that was. We'll see how this goes. We keep going. The official 7 TV says, Go, 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 race in perfection. Going over start finish. So here's your order. James Webb followed by Tom Mountford, Ben Johnson, then Harry Rowett, then... Simon Gover, Tycho Simmons, Ian Brownfield, Dan Milner, Cameron Marston, Reese Llewellyn, Oliver Smith, Joe Wormsley. In 12th at the moment. It's doing all right. That's Joe. In 12th. <laughs> oh, God. Fortunately, Simon Wheeler's popped into the pits. And uh, it looks like we've lost Alex Bentley as well. Uh, so far, and we're already a few minutes into this race. Still all time to play for as we keep going through. Down the main straight is your leader, James Webb. 43.45, currently the fastest lap. Uh, Tom Mountford in second. Harry Rowett in third. Uh, making a position on jo Ben Johnson there. Joe Wormsley managing to keep into 12th. Doing well there. Alex Solly, Nathan Crowder, Gareth Evans doing well. The three novices out there all together. Holding it in place as we are out here. But a lot of them there. Joe doing the best as he can as a bit of rubbish flies on, as I like to call it, the clay pigeon tumbleweed. James Webb out ahead at the moment. Harry Rowett in second. But there is a double spin off by second and third as one <laughs> starts doing donuts in the grass. Yeah, thanks, guys. Trying to keep control. I think they both might have touched each other on that one and lost control. But it is wet. And as such, anything could happen there. That grass is getting a right old beating up at the <laughs> Billy's at the moment. Alex Bentley down at the back there. Oh, Alex Bentley managing to get back out on the track again. That's great to see. Uh, managing to recover back onto the circuit. James Webb leaving by two seconds at the moment. That is a lot bigger now. As uh, we have a change to the order side by side. Possibly a little tap there. As you can see on the camera, it's Ian Brownfield up into second position. Ben Johnson in third. Uh, draw, uh, making up some positions into tenth. And a spin there. Coming out of the... Coming out of the king, it looks like he just missed the tie wall as well as a bit of his uh, rear, rear number plate comes off. Uh, Amy Ford on the YouTube says, Bob. Great. <laughs> but this is uh, quite the race so far. As we go over the start finish, Ian Branfield in second position, 7.2 seconds behind James Webb, who is our leader and also the man with the fastest lap. 43.19. Joe Wormsley still in 10th, Nathan Crowder in 11th, Reese Llewellyn in 12th currently at the moment, Alex Solly in 13th, Alex Heron making two places up into 14th. And uh, Alex, Alex Bentley just chilling at the back of the pack at the moment in 17th, just trying to finish this race. 
as James Webb comes over the line. Uh, lapping Tycho Ty, Ty Simmons at the moment. Uh, Ian Branfield in second, coming over the line. Uh, a couple more of the drivers as well, flying over. These conditions really batter, bat, bat, battering the drivers so far. Uh, it is absolutely crazy. Side by side, two of the drivers going around the horseshoe. Two minutes 50 left on the clock. Still a lot of time to go. We get all the drivers popping over the start finish. Oliver Smith up a position. Ian Branfield losing three, four positions. Not sure what's happened with Ian Branfield on that one. As we keep on, get, carry on though. Ben Johnson in second, Oliver Smith in third. Ian Branfield has gone into the pits. That explains that one. <laughs> Joe Wormsley up three positions. My God. Joe into seventh at the moment. Cameron Marston in sixth. Tom Mountford fifth. Cart number 28 and fourth. Cart number 83 and third. Ben Johnson still in second position. Uh, there is a 10 second gap. 10 second gap. One in the tyres again. Uh, at the top. It looks like the same driver that lost his rear plate earlier um, out there. It is tough conditions. That is the number 24. Tycho, uh, Tycho, Tycho Simmons out there. Sorry if I'm butchering your name. I really, I'm really sorry. Pressing all the buttons now. Here we go. We'll get the right camera. There we go. So James Webb still leading by 10 seconds. Tom Mountford finding some time though. 43 1 2 is the fastest lap time uh, out there on the circuit with 1 minute 15 seconds to go. Uh, 11 second gap now. Uh, this is crazy for the uh, gap. But that bottle, uh, battle, Ben Johnson still just being able to keep it out, out ahead. Oliver Smith in, uh, in third uh, is very close, as well as that fourth position of Harry Rowett, who's doing his best to go there. As you can see, he's taking the much more wider lines, number 28. And it's doing well as he's managed to go down the inside and managing to stay ahead and getting ahead of both of the two drivers up there. And uh, we have another driver. <laughs> Tycho Simmons is not having a great day at the moment. He's uh, off on the uh, off the track at the moment. So we'll keep on going. Let's see where some of these drivers are going. Reese Llewellyn ahead of Joe Wormsley now. Joe in eight down into eighth position as we uh, carry through. Twelve seconds left on the clock. Plenty of time left to go in this race. Alex Bentley down in 16th at the moment. Trying his best to just carry on and finish this race. James Webb going over the line there. And uh, this is the last lap for him. Meanwhile, there's still plenty of time as Harry Rowett goes over the start finish. Followed by Oliver Smith in third. So, Harry Rowett with the fastest lap time as well, ladies and gentlemen. This is the last lap, so one last lap to achieve a position or gain a position, but let's see where it goes as the number 92 of James Webb takes the checkered flag, a very soggy checkered flag, and uh, over ten seconds, uh, nine seconds later, Harry Rowett uh, ro taking the second place with a fast lap time of a 42.56, which is the fastest of this lap uh, of this race. Uh, 42 seconds. Finding that in this weather is uh, pretty good from all the drivers. Actually, uh, he's the only driver to hit the 42s as well. 
and uh, in that race losing Ian Branfield and Simon Wheeler unfortunately nonetheless we carry on as that is the end of all the first heats and uh, qualifying sessions for the total cartons uh, zeros let's see how it goes later on so we'll be returning with total cartons zero cadets uh, they'll be next It's lovely weather to go karting together with you. <laughs> it's actually horrible. I would never want to go kart. I, <laughs> I don't want to race in this weather. <laughs> I've done racing before and I think I might be alright to just stay out of this. So, just as we wait for the Total Kart and Zero Cadets to fly out, Jeremy Cossey saying good luck to Cody Trace in the Total Karting Zero Cadet Kart. So, hopefully, you're doing, you'll do well for this one as uh, we wait for this one. Good luck, Dan Beards from Joanna Beards on the YouTube channel. If you do want to support any of your drivers, uh, through the YouTube live stream, then feel free to pop into the comments and uh, I'll sure read them out to uh, all the drivers. So, out onto the track come the TKZ cadets as they line up for their grid start. Of course, this is a new, new view for the uh, grid starts. If you want to catch the new views, then feel free to pop into the YouTube live stream and watch them all line up this is a nice view i actually quite like this this is great so here we go Waiting for the lights to go out. And we're off! For the Total Carton Zero Cadets for their first heat of the day. As they're all going around, Billy's all managing to stay onto the track. You've got the two at the back, just a little bit behind as they try and gain some traction, but it is number two at the moment, Max Winfield, who is doing well to stay ahead. As they're all charging down the back straight. Round the horseshoe they go with zero problems with all of them and around the uh, sorry the hairpin then the horseshoe there we go <laughs> we're gonna all correct in the corners uh, all managing to keep it well uh, throughout the track and we'll update you on who is where as they come over down the main straight so down the main straight they come it is the number two of Max Winfield currently out ahead followed by. Cody Trace, then William Swales, Corey Chapman, Ellis Garrett, then Trevelyan Sansom, Jack Johnson, and then Stanley Stafford will be your eighth driver out there. Managing to hold it in that eighth position. A spin over the... Ooh. Over the sausage. 360 on the sausage and a splash to finish it off. As he uh, has to get wedged off of the sausage curb there to try and get going again. It is tough to uh, try and get off of the sausage curb. Sometimes you might get wedged in an awkward position, but we will continue on with Max Winfield currently in first position and overtake being made here. A very brave dart down the inside, but unfortunately has uh, resulted in some contact with the driver that they were beside. Which means the number three of uh, William Swales, unfortunately, I think it was that one. I, I've lost numbers. <laughs> it might have been Cody Trace or William Swales. Not sure on that one. We'll continue on as we go on through. That's uh, some unfortunate there. Losing a bit of grip going around the kink.
It's very tough when you hit a puddle up around here because you will go flying in some cases. Max Winfield still ahead at 50.73 seconds for their lap time. And uh, it was Cody Trace who unfortunately made the contact with uh, Ellis Garrett. All by accident, though. As we keep going around the number, <laughs> trying to all stay on the track as best they can. Ellis Garrett trying their best, and uh, the number three there, William Swells, having a uh, nearly having a swim. Kerry Probert says, "Come on, Ellis Garrett." This wind is absolutely horrid. Max Winfield still out ahead, improving his lap time each lap. And then Cody Trace followed by Ellis Garrett, slowly catching up with the number six. As they uh, go sailing around Billy's. And down the back straight as well. Two minutes to go. As the uh, wind picks up a little bit more. And the rain picks up a little bit more as well. It is just absolutely horrific. But the racing is absolutely beautiful so far. As the number five clips the sausage curb and uh, managing to stay on the right, uh, on the better side of the curb. <laughs> Michael Stopford saying, come on, Will Swales. Doing his best, currently in fourth position. In these tough conditions that is uh, currently at Clay Pigeon Raceway. A very tough day for these drivers to just try and keep it on the track as best they can. Max Winfield with a uh, nearly a 10 second lead at the moment uh, with just over a minute to go. Cody Drace in second followed by Ellis Garrett. So William Swales currently in fourth. Trevelyan Sansom in fifth. Jack Johnson in sixth. Corey Chapman in seventh. And uh, Stanley Stafford at the back in eighth position at the moment. Cruising. As uh, so the number six of Cody Trace comes over the line, closely followed by Ellis Garrett. Max Winfield has some pace around here today at the moment. See him charging down and around the uh, hairpin. Some tough conditions to uh, try and battle here, but we've got 17 seconds left for the start uh, for this heat one. Over the line goes Corey Chapman up a position into sixth. Jack Johnson losing what, uh, a position there. And uh, Stanley Stafford in eighth. About to be lapped by Max Winfield, though. He's just, uh, he was uh, just crossed the line there. It looks like he might have just sunk in an extra lap. I'm not sure yet. We'll find out very shortly. As he's going around the S's and down the back straight comes your second position of Cody Trace. Uh, which Alex Garrett, uh, Garrett is in third, losing a bit of uh, time on the previous lap there, unfortunately. Very tough conditions indeed. Down the main street comes the number 10, Trevelyan Sansom. And the number 5 of Corey Chapman coming over the line here, and... Uh, very, the two drivers close together at the moment. The uh, number two and eight as Jack Johnson gets lapped. But this is the last lap now for Max Winfield. Fourteen point seven two seconds as a gap for Max Winfield, who's uh, been able to do. Very easy stuff in this wet weather. Being able to control the cart as best he can as he's going around the horseshoe and through buttons next. And uh, as he comes towards the top bend, we'll have your winner for 
the heat number one. Just as the number five and ten cross the line, ladies and gentlemen. Winning the heat number one for the TKZ Cadets, it is Max Winfield. Also doing the fastest lap time of 49.88. So being able to travel through the circuit as best he can. Jack Johnson going over the line there in seventh. Cody Trace taking second position at the end of that one. And Ellis Garrett taking the top three. It was a bit pointless me cleaning my car yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting everything. <laughs> so that's the total cart and zero cadets done, ladies and gentlemen. We'll go over to the Hondas. The Honda cadets next. So, coming out onto the track now is the Honda Cadets for their second heat of today. Very brave soldiers. <laughs> Very brave soldiers. Let's see what they can do today for their second heat. Ava Morris will be starting at the front alongside Oliver Warner. Let's see what the Honda Cadets can do for their first heat today. Uh, first heat? Second heat! Trying their best there to uh, battle these conditions, but as they come down the top bend and down the main straight, let's see if we can get a start as they come down the main straight now. And we're off. Starting off at this battle for heat number two who will be out on top after these next eight minutes and at the moment is number 32 Ava Morris doing their best to stay out ahead of the rest of the fleet a couple of spins or a spin uh, down at the hairpin unfortunately looks like it was the person chilling in second position Uh, losing a bit of time to everybody else there, but as we come over the uh, Towards the main straight now anyway Let's see who is where as we get the list up onto the screen So it's currently Ava Morris followed by Sam Green Gomez and Max Lovell Harry Farrell in fourth position followed by Luke Ford Sam Mott Jensen Walker in seventh position uh, With Conrad Barton Sam Downer and Travis Rose to top out the top 10. Then we got our four novices all together. Maria Roberto, Marcel Popical, Charlie Wood and Charlie White. And then bringing up the rear is Oliver Warner in currently 15th position. But still all to play for. We still have over six and a half minutes left of racing for this second heat. Let's see how we go as we come down the main straight now. Couple of the drivers catching up with our first position of Ava Morris. Max Lovell, 47.96, fastest lap time at the moment. Catching up with Ava Morris. 
Oliver Warner making up two positions as well. That lap trying to make his recover drive from the start of the race where he spun down at the horse, uh, at the hairpin, sorry. There's uh, wind and rain absolutely battering the circuit. <laughs> this is crazy weather. Crazy, crazy weather. Coming down the top bend and down the main straight. Look at that. Ava Morris followed by Max Lovell, Luke Ford, then Sam Green Gomez. Not much changes from all of these at the moment. As they're all just trying to stick it out and do the best they can to uh, not make any issues. But third place going down the inside of second. Luke Ford and Max Lovell there by the looks of it. As they go around the hairpin and towards the horseshoe. Trying to avoid the puddles. And uh, just sail through the track instead. And all managing to keep it on the tarmac. For the changes. This rain is literally battering sideways. I can see it out the window. It's horrible. So Ava Morris still hanging out in front. Luke Ford just being able to sneak up into second now. As we're going around Billy's and into the S's, Luke Ford really getting close to Ava Morris, but Ava Morris with a bit more of a cleaner line through the S's. Uh, taking a bit, getting a bit more of an advantage there. As we keep flying on through, Ava Morris just having a bit more smoother lines, but Luke Ford catching. So here we go. Top bend now and coming down the main straight. All very close together. But still no changes to be made. All just trying to hang out and uh, survive these laps basically. As best they can. Going through the S's down the inside a brave dive. Made by the number 96 of Luke Ford and managing to get ahead of Ava Morris. A very clean overtake and uh, managing to sail into first position now. Will Ava be able to get that back? She does have the number 97 on Max Lovell behind. So it's all still to play for. We still have over 3 minutes 20 seconds. Let's see as they come down the main straight. Let's get your changes up on the screen as well as they come over. The start finish line, Luke Ford followed by Ava Morris, followed by Max Lovell. Sam Green Gomez in fourth position at the moment. The six, the, the top six all together at the moment in the somewhat of a train. Uh, Conrad Barton at the back, just uh, somewhat spectating the events that are going on ahead of him. Jensen Walker leading another pack from seventh downwards. He has Travis Rose behind. There could be a change there. But Luke Ford still with the fastest lap time at the moment. Uh, and claiming that. As we go down the main straight now. Lots of spray coming off of these drivers. Luke Ford, Ava Morris, Max Lovell, Sam Green Gomez. The top six still unchanged. But it could change now. As they go through Billy's. Two of them going wide. And a few of them slotting in front. And it uh, looks like the number 84, Harry Farrell, making a few spots there. One or two. And uh, also, it looked like Travis Rose. Uh, sorry, no, Conrad Barton uh, making a few spots there. Uh, meanwhile, Travis Rose did make a position up on that previous lap time. And uh, Charlie Wood just going over the line there. But here we go, coming down the main straight now. Luke Ford followed by Ava Morris. Harry Farrell making up two spots that lap, so up into third for him. Sam Green Gomez in fourth, Conrad Barton in fifth, and Max Lovell unfortunately losing three positions on that lap as well. But we still have time, 1 minute 22 left on the clock. And uh, Ava Morris making a charge back because uh, she has set the fastest lap of this race. 
with a 47.22. Side by side, going into the horseshoe. Ava Morris, is that, or is that a different driver? We shall have a look as they uh, get closer. Uh, just seeing that just out the corner of my eye. Both the drivers are having a uh, battle of their own. So let's carry on down the main straight. Uh, I think it was just a re-overtake by uh, Luke Ford there. Gaining back uh, his position. Ava Morris just being able to pick up some more speed in different areas of the track as uh, best she can. Through the S's. And uh, gaining more seconds back. But it is very close. She's gone right to the outside of the circuit there. Just to try and get some more grip uh, against Luke Ford. But uh, you've got to be careful. Harry Farrell, fastest lap time of 47 1 1. Everybody finding some time out there despite the ever changing conditions. Uh, the lineup is on your screen as they come down. Uh, to the top of the main straight there, just uh, Charlie Wood coming down the main straight himself. Three seconds left. Oh, just being able to squeeze out an extra lap in this race. Luke Ford in first position still. It is a train of three. So uh, fourth position and fifth have uh, sort of split away from the rest. Let's see how this goes. We're at the hairpin now. Side by side, two of the drivers. And it looks like Ava Morris possibly sticking out for second position there. Yep. Sticking out and managing to keep that second for now. But we still have plenty. Well, we have one more lap to go before this could all change. So coming down the main straight also with our back marker of the number 86. Let's see how this goes, ladies and gentlemen. Last lap. These three very close together, producing some great racing here. With a, a spin by some of the other drivers. The number 86 managing to stay out of the way of our top three as well. Very good driving there. But it's the top three we're more focused on at the moment as they come in around the hairpin towards the horseshoe. Now they are, well, looking forward to managing to stay to uh, stay away from the rest of them for now. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Top bend. Will there be any changes at the last part of this race? Down the main straight, we come. Oh, and a drag race to the end, but... Ooh, Luke Ford, followed by Harry Farrell, then Ava Morris just losing it at the end there. The last little bit of the race, the little drag race that they had. And uh, unfortunately, Ava Morris losing out on that second. But nevertheless, she's still in the top three, claiming that third position. Conrad Barton in fourth, Max Level managing to sneak back up into fifth, and Travis Rose in sixth. Wow, this rain, man. God, this is horrible rain. <laughs> right, that's the cadets done. It's time for the Minimax. Minimax time, ladies and gentlemen. You can just see on the bottom right of the screen is the cables for the... The cables for the cameras. <laughs> So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's heat number two now for the Mini Maxes as we go for their formation lap as they all come on out onto the soggy track. Danny Newman and Martin Wright are the top two coming out onto the track. They'll be your uh, ones that lead in the way. Huge, huge yawns for me. My God. So 
So, top end they are. Let's see where they will come. At the end of this race, as they come down the main straight, over the line, to start off the Minimaxes for heat number two. Lucas Howell, Danny Newman, Martin Wright, Freddie Baker, Jack West, Harry Cottrell, Kai Vittic, uh, Wilf Butler, Ellis Snow, Charlie Parker, and Jarek Metters. Let's see how this goes, ladies and gentlemen. As they're going around the hairpin and towards the horseshoe. Currently, it's the number 19 of uh, Lucas Howell, who is uh, ahead. Just having a look there. Managing to stay out ahead of the rest of them. But it looks like a spin from him, though, at the top bend. Which has changed everything up. So... Freddie Baker, followed by Martin Wright, followed by Danny Newman, Jack West, Harry Cottrell, Wolf Butler, Kai, Kai in number 75 in 7th, Ellis Snow in 8th, Charlie Parker in 9th, Jarek Metters in 10th, and Lucas Howell, unfortunately, spinning at the top end, putting him back down into 10th position. We'll see how that will affect later on, but meanwhile, Freddie Baker... Staying ahead of the pack for now. Martin Wright is behind though, so still plenty of time to change for that one. <laughs> Sounded like a bin. <laughs> there goes a bin. Freddie Baker still ahead, followed by Martin Wright. Danny Newman in second position. A yellow flag waved. We'll see what happens. Next, not sure what driver is off there, unfortunately. I cannot see it, so possibly far out of the screen. Oh, just at the entrance of Billy's at the tyres there, unfortunately, uh, spinning out there. And uh, another driver is uh, unfortunately parked and wedged on the uh, back straight. Uh, must have hit a puddle or something there. Let's see the weather conditions really changing things up. And as such, with the yellow flags out in effect, uh, Freddie Baker followed by Martin Wright. There we go. And uh, the other driver of either Jack West or Wolf Butler uh, trying to do well. Oh, God. So two drivers there losing quite a few positions, uh, knocking themselves out of the top ten. It is very tough for some of these drivers to try and stay on the uh, wet stuff. Every now and then you can hear a bin that's either fallen over or a bin taken off. There's, there's one just outside main reception that's facing a direction like it's being carried away from the... Everyone else. We're about to the racing. <laughs> so, carrying on. Freddie Baker still out ahead of the rest of the pack at the moment. Uh, by Not by much, though, as uh, Martin Wright set the fastest lap time that lap on a 45.16. Uh, so, some pace coming from Martin Wright. For heat number two as they're going uh, top bend now. Down the main straight. That was a mid yawn. Wolf Butler going over the line there as well. Uh, but Freddie Baker followed by Martin Wright. Not by much though. 44.96. Again, improving his lap time as they come towards the S's. And uh, down the back straight, the two drivers doing their best. Stay on the stuff, but uh, also trying to uh, attack for an overtake somewhere, uh, which is rather tough in these conditions. But the, uh, a lot of the drivers today doing some spectacular racing, uh, despite what we uh, have up here. Top bend with a... Possible lapping situation happening here as uh, Freddie Baker and Martin Wright come over the line. Doing their best. You can see Martin Wright doing uh, the best he can. Lucas Howell giving a contact warning. 
Uh, the first contact warning of today, and uh, I can actually say this, the first contact warning of 2022, as uh, the blue flag is waved to number 70 of Wilf Butler. As uh, Freddie Baker and Martin Wright start making their way down the uh, down the track, uh, as they're now coming down the main straight here. Let's see if there'll be any changes between the two of them. They are both very close to each other. Martin Wright doing the best he can. Uh, just currently trying to find the best and waiting for the best opportunity to take over uh, Freddie Baker as uh, these conditions make it tougher and tougher each lap to uh, try, and, uh, try and do something. Just over two minutes left on the clock as well. As uh, your top two coming down the order. Lucas Howell had a uh, fastest lap last time, uh, but Freddie Baker's just set it. So it looks like uh, Freddie Baker's sort of responding to the charge attack that Martin Wright had. So Freddie Baker with a 44.60, currently the fastest lap uh, on lap eight of this race. Some very tough conditions, as I keep on saying today, but uh, it it really does show some wet practice can help a lot. Well, you could just race up here and you get wet practice just doing a race day. <laughs> very typical for round one to be with this wet. Freddie Baker ahead of Martin Wright. Freddie Baker with the fastest lap, but it looks like Martin Wright had a bit of a spin there. So Freddie Baker a little bit more clear than he was before. And as such, I was going to invite the, num uh, the number 49 of Harry Cottrell into a second position uh, potential. As uh, they go around the track. So Freddie Baker now leaving the horseshoe whilst... Uh, the number 14 of Martin Wright trying and recovers back up uh, to catch up with him. There is only 37 seconds left. So not much time on the clock. So Martin Wright. Second position followed by Harry Cottrell in third. Lucas Howell making up a position as well up into fifth. Four seconds left on the clock, so we'll be nearing the last lap very soon. Round buttons and up to the top bend it goes Freddie Baker to bring in the last lap of this race. Here it goes over the start finish. Followed by Martin Wright, then Harry Cottrell. Through the S's he goes. That wind is ever so picking up. You can just hear it. Well, I can hear it in the commentary booth. The, the rain is virtually sideways. But every driver's doing well to keep it on the track. And one of those people... And here we go. Freddie Baker... Winning heat number two for the Mini Maxes, followed by Martin Wright, then Harry Cottrell.
Well, that's an experience. I just put a cable tie through the floor. <laughs> so, cable tie delivery. I think I might have to stand up a bit. Just sorting out the cables on the track. When I say the cables on the track, I mean my camera cables. If we lose camera feed, I'm going to blame him. <laughs> God, this is horrible weather. <laughs> oh. Trying to warm up in it. Hopefully you're in a nice and warm though. So, uh, Clay Pigeon is very wet and very windy. Heavy rain is what it has here. But there you go. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as somebody's awning Top is flapping around a little bit. Uh, probably want to get that sorted. Uh, but here we go. It's the Junior Rotax Heat Number Two. Uh, just a note to I think it might be the number sixty-four cadet. Your awning top sheet is flapping around a bit. So I thought I'd give you the heads up. Just. Uh, in case that flies onto the track or something. Uh, I don't know if you want to go and get that sorted out ASAP. So, Junior Rotax heat number two. Let's see how this one goes as they come down the main straight to start off. Heat number two. Round the S's they go, and down the back straight. All the drivers keeping it onto the track as best they can at the moment. Half of me is just trying to keep an eye on uh, someone's awning top as it's uh, flapping around a lot. <laughs> And very loose, but down the main straight, so it is the number 17, Charles Green, followed by Ollie Stevens, Matthew Lambert, then Reza Seawutheran. Oh, I hope I pronounced that right. Samuel Watts, then Daniel uh, Sebula, Billy Edge come down in seventh position, and Alexander Senna in eighth. These beats, man. Let's put my coat on because it is getting a bit cold. Someone's awning top 
sheet, like the, the, the cover at the top, sort of come off of its place. So, <laughs> my coat is quite soggy now. I should have bought a second coat. I should have worn thermals. So, as I try and get a bit warmer up here, Charles Green's still ahead at the moment. Uh, first lap time of a 43.66. The number 80 of... Technical man, or it. So, as we continue on, so the junior Rotax heat number two uh, at the moment, Charles Green still ahead. Matthew Lambert with the fastest lap time of 43.11. Uh, Reza C with an up into third uh, currently at the moment, as uh, Daniel Sebula comes up into fourth position in this race. A spin and a bit of a pile up coming at the S's there. Uh, not the S's, at the uh, Billy's as uh, one spins, unfortunately, dragging three of them into a lovely puddle. Uh, affecting that uh, lineup there. Not sure what drivers were affected on that one. We'll find out very shortly as they uh, start coming through. Uh, Bill Senna says, good luck, Alex Senna. Uh, currently in seventh position at the moment. So uh, very high up for now. But as we come over the line... It is Char uh, Matthew Lambert followed by Charles Green Reza, then Daniel Sebula. Billy Edgecombe up into fifth possession, followed by Ollie Stevens, then Lucas Hayden. It looks like Alexander Senna, Samuel Watt were affected in that uh, little spin. Samuel Watt more than the most, as he's uh, gone down into 17th position. Someone else has spun uh, there. Finn Smith into the pits. That will be the end of his journey in heat number two for now. As uh, a splodge that's been on one of my camera lenses, the whole entire race has finally like dissipated itself. Uh, Matthew Lambert followed by Charles Green. Reza is there. Billy Edgecombe unfortunately getting a contact warning uh, out there. Ollie Stevens right behind though. Uh, Lucas Hayden in seventh position. Fast lap at the moment. Still Charles Green in second position charging for Matthew Lambert. Uh, and then it's Reza in third or could it be second as you're going around the horseshoe, uh, the hairpin and horseshoe now? The 78 right behind the 77, uh, trying to get as close as he can. The uh, times very close to each other. Uh, all the times are actually very close together at the moment. So, over the start finish, a very. Ooh, Charles Green nearly in the grass there. Uh, using his, uh, the curb on the right side of that track, which has made Reza get a bit closer. But as you can see at the back is Daniel Sebula, who has managed to get up into uh, very close uh, to that third position slot at the moment. Whoops. <laughs> uh, doing quite well as uh, the best as he can for now, which is brilliant. Uh, from that driver. So we've been live for three hours and ten minutes and we've still got plenty of racing left to go. So if you do want to support any of your drivers today, like a lot of people have been doing in the YouTube comments of this live stream, then make sure to scan that QR code at the back of the program or head over to YouTube, search Clay Pigeon Kart Club and write a nice little comment because I'll be popping it over the tannoy. Uh, just like I have done from uh, messages from uh, Suzanne Oldfield and also Bill Senna as well. And quite a lot of other people out there in the YouTube comments uh, throughout the day as well. It's great to see all the support. And uh, especially with uh, 
what sort of racing we've got going at the moment, especially with Matthew Lambert uh, currently in first position in uh, with that very short lead because Charles Green is right behind, just watching him come over the line there. Uh, Resident Daniel uh, very close to, as well as uh, Daniel looks to go down the inside at the S yes, is a very put uh, very very bold move uh, especially uh, with the traction that he had he was very twitchy uh, at the S's um, so he can try again anytime soon around the horseshoe and through buttons it could have been a change there for the top two as well let's have a look as we continue through this one we've also lost Samuel Watts a couple of laps ago so over the line comes Matthew Lambert, Charles Green is still ahead at the moment. Uh, Reza in third at the moment. Uh, Daniel losing a bit of time from that S's and further on moves. But nevertheless, we're still keeping on going. 30 seconds left on the clock. Plenty of time to keep this show on the road. Around the horseshoe. It was all very close between this top four. Uh, they're coming two by twos. And down the main straights for the last lap of this race. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. For the Junior Rotax, wit, wit, what is going to happen on this one? As we go down the back straight, the number 80, Matthew Lambert, still ahead of Charles Green. Going around at the hairpin. And towards the horseshoe now, who's going to have the better lines for this one? He's catching ever so slowly and uh, finding as much time down the inside. Was that? Oh, might have been slowed down by a puddle there, unfortunately. But ladies and gentlemen, coming down the main straight, a very tight battle between the two of them. Taking the win, it is the number 80 of Matthew Lambert, followed by Charles Green, then Reza Seawithan, and then Daniel Sebula. That is your top four, very close racing by the two drivers, uh, four drivers, sorry. And as such, that is your result for this race. And also the fastest lap time was set uh, by Daniel Sebula with a 42.73. So some great driving there. Was some great driving at the end. I'm start starting to warm up a bit now. My feet are the coldest things because uh, they were waterlogged this morning, uh, along with quite a lot of other people, including the timekeeper. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Hope you are all enjoying the racing at home as well. Because I am, even though I am chilly. Yeah, I'm a bit chilly. <laughs> Claire Metters, well done. Yes, well done to all the drivers. That green flag is looking very not green. <laughs> it's very dark. That is a, that's a soggy flag. And uh, that is Darren Weaver that's uh, just walking up uh, along the track there. He is a funny bloke. Oh, hello, Peter. You're right. <laughs> it is very cold and wet indeed. <laughs> Hope you're doing well down there and uh, surviving a bit. <laughs> You can hear it on the stream. So, as you can see here, it is time for the Total Karting Zero Bambinos to hit our uh, well, the track and the screens as well. Uh, we've had a few comments put on the stream. Claire Metas says, well done. Uh, Peter Jeans. 
Hello. Uh, thought to say, uh, thought I'd say hello from Clay Pigeon as the owner of Trinity Kart Racing. Oh my. He is down there getting absolutely soaked. He says it's very cold and wet. <laughs> yeah, indeed it is. Very, very cold and wet. I can feel it in the commentary hut. Not the wet though. I feel sorry for all of you down there. Hope you're all doing well out there and uh, coping well. Meanwhile, Megan Bintz says, Good luck, Alfie Garretts. And here we go, ladies and gents. They are off for the TKZ Bambinos. Kerry Probert says a huge shout out to all the drivers racing today in this weather. Uh, Alfie Garrett, I'm still watching. Alfie Garrett is out on track. Uh, battling these conditions as best as he can. If I had a camera in a different position, I've nearly watched Paul Skip just <laughs> absolutely tumble in the mud. <laughs> oh, that was funny. I, thought, I don't think you would have been able to catch that on camera, which is a shame. <laughs> oh, it's... Oh, God. <laughs> Barry C01 says, good luck, Alfie Garrett. So with this heat uh, in its very soggy form, Alfie Garrett currently ahead, uh, doing a 1 minute 2.88. Uh, Nikita Roberts in second at the moment uh, with an 8 second gap, uh, currently in second position. Hector Dickey, I believe that's him coming down the main straight. Uh, look, he was waving as well, saying hello. Uh, 1 minute 11 second lap time in 3rd position and then it looks like our 4th position for the, the only 4, Billy Gromit uh, popping down at the bottom there <laughs> Peter Jean saying just two laugh, laughing emojis <laughs> oh god he's a, he's a very a very soggy Peter out there <laughs> Someone's on and is getting a right old battering out here. I think it's just, it's tucked under itself enough to, uh, not, hopefully, well, hopefully not fly away. Jesus, that'll be a bit of a thing. So with two minutes, uh, well, just about two minutes to go, uh, Alfie Garrett still ahead by 13 seconds. Uh, Nikita Roberts in seconds. Uh, 14 seconds behind her is Hector Dickey. And then 40 sec 14 seconds behind him is uh, Billy Gromit. Grom uh, 
Gromit in fourth position there. Uh, fast lap time set by uh, Alfie Garrett, just set by Alfie Garrett as well, uh, with a 1 minute 2.6. Uh, Nikita Roberts only doing a uh, 106.23, which is still very good uh, in second position um, for uh, her best as she's coming over the line now. Uh, Hector Dickey doing a 111 as his, uh, as his best. And uh, Billy Gromit with a 114.7. But this weather is absolutely awful. <laughs> I hope you're all uh, trying to seek shelter as best you can. I really don't like how that one is. <laughs> That's, that's the staff in me right now. The, 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 I, <laughs> I hope it just wraps itself around the awning itself and don't fly away. I don't want... I don't want to see it fly onto the track. I think the, the wind's in the wrong position anyway. I think it would just hit the building. I'd be like, oh, hello. <laughs> So we've got 14 seconds left on the clock, so not many laps left to go on this one. Alpha Garrett uh, with a 1 minute 2, 3, uh, 1 minute 2 second and uh, 0.34 uh, lap time there. Uh, fastest lap uh, currently doing a very good job, all of these Bambinos. It's uh, very tough conditions and uh, absolutely sailing on through it as uh, best they can. As uh, Alfie Garrett comes over the line to produce the last lap. Now, uh, Billy Gromit lap behind, but uh, still chilling out there as best he can. Uh, 1 minute 14.37, so improving his lap times every time, uh, which is brilliant and great to see. Just coming down the main straight now is Nikita Roberts. Uh, doing the best she can. She's 24 seconds behind. Uh, Hector Dickey, uh, sorry, behind uh, Alfie Garrett, but uh, nevertheless, she's doing a very good job. So, well done to all of these drivers uh, today. Very brave. And there it is. Check a flag gone out for Alfie Garrett, who is uh, just won heat number one for the Total Karting Zero Bambinos, improving his laps uh, every time. So very well done. Kart number one just coming over the line there. Benny Gromit, well done to him. Taking the check of flag after a very wet and soggy uh, six minutes. As uh, we await, uh, well, Nikita Roberts popped into the pits. Megan Bint says, well done, Alfie, with a trophy emoji. Ooh, I do love a good emoji. Very well done, indeed. So that is it for the Total Karting Zero Bambinos. I never thought it would be this wet today, my god. <laughs> I think lunchtime, I think everybody's just going to huddle in the cafe. <laughs> well, I don't blame everyone who does. So, it's time to rock out the Senior Rodax uh, out next. Uh, this is heat number 13 of 21, so we're coming down very soon to our last few but here come the senior rotaxes they're absolutely flying out oops so harrison crick and magic chimera look like the two that will be starting at the front of this one and 
let's get the show on the road, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see where we get for this one. Joanna Beard said, go on, Dan Beard. Currently in sixth uh, for this one. So let's see how it goes. As we transition over to our... So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Coming down the straight now to start heat two for the senior Rotex. And it is a go as it gets very spray at the kink. Oh my God. But all the drivers staying on the track as we come through the S's and down the back straight. All of them doing well so far. Nobody has lost it yet. I'm going to probably jinx that as I have done already today. But it looks like it is the number 72. I'm going to double check that in a minute as they come over the line soon. This is chill. A couple of drivers off there out the kink. Someone just short cutting right across to the main straight. Okay, that's very questionable. Uh, could have just gone back to where you came off, but never mind. Uh, a spin there by one of the drivers, unfortunately, making another driver lose control at the SSR and right into the tie wall, or possibly the fence. I'm not sure. He might have just missed the tie wall. We'll find out in a few seconds as uh, we carry on. But uh, let's get your order for yourself. So Magic Camaro is out in front at the moment with a 44.27 as the fastest lap time. Kieran Ives in second. Daniel Beards in third. Harrison Crook in fourth. Ben Page in fifth. Benjamin Ballou in sixth. Uh, up three positions. Alexander uh, Mikos in seventh. And uh, it is a very muddy area at the start of there. I was uh, just looking at all the different stuff that's going on outside on the track there. The grass is having an absolute beating today. But uh, let's have a change. So, Kieran Ives is in first position at the moment. Uh, Cart number 47. Followed by Harrison Crook and Magic Camaro losing two positions that lap. So, not sure what uh, occurred on there. Uh, but it is a very... Very interesting on what's going on. So we've had one uh, incident so far uh, into the tyre wall. Fastest lap time at the moment is Benjamin Ballou who's just gone over the line with a 43.39. So these times are slowly creeping down. Uh, Jensen Watts is currently a bit more faster than everybody else at the moment. 43.15. Uh, he is down in 11th though. Bertie Wells uh, Wellesley in uh, car 48 in 12. Uh, Cameron Crockett is in 13th at the moment. As he's, uh, just comes down the main straight and over the line. One of the marshals has spotted the, uh, the uh, awning that's uh, very questionable. So Cameron Ives still ahead of Harrison Crook at the moment. Uh, by 1.92 seconds. Three drivers off at the S's. As uh, they all skate on off. Not sure what happened there. There's even one little touch and uh, you could be flying off. It looks like one car has had to retire from that incident there. Which will still keep going and carrying on through the rest of the race though. As uh, Cameron Crockett comes over the line in that uh, 13th position. Number 47 with a uh, excellent lead at the moment. Uh, over nearly four seconds between Benjamin Ballou, which has, uh, he's creeped up into second position. And uh, unfortunately, it looks like it might be Daniel Beards that has uh, unfortunately retired from this one. Just looking at the order as he's flying down it. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like we have lost Daniel Beards from this race so far. As we continue through, though, uh, Cameron Crockett very, uh, very twitchy coming down the main straight there, uh, around the corner bit. Cameron Crockett 
Kira and I've still out ahead. 3.81 seconds, so Benjamin Ballou trying to catch up as best he can, and it looks like Daniel Beard's or another driver trying to get going, I'm not sure here. Was he trying to get going? The great news if he uh, could try and get himself going. But uh, it looks like he's just stuck in that absolute mud fest. Driver spinning at the S's there, or the exit of the S's. Everything happening down the bottom uh, uh, of the circuit at the moment. As we go around the top bend, we still have just under three minutes to go of this race, so a lot can happen yet. Benjamin Ballou up into first position. Harrison Crook followed by Magic Camara. Where's Kieran Ives gone? He has absolutely flown down the order. Uh, so not sure if it was him that was stuck. Uh, at the S's, I'm unsure. It's uh, very very easy to lose uh, what's going on today, uh, especially with these weather conditions. Oh, Kieran Ives has gone into the pits, unfortunately. Oh, that's a massive shame. I'm not sure if he's had a spin and, and it's uh, affected him uh, a bit too much. Um, there's a massive bundle of the S's. I'm just watching all the spray come off of uh, some of the drivers that go over the uh, puddles out there. Uh, so Benjamin Ballou currently out in front, followed by Harrison Crook with a 42.62 as the fastest lap time of this race so far. Uh, then we have Magic Camara in third, Jensen Watts in uh, fourth position at the moment, Jordan Morris in fifth, followed by Archie Brown and Alexander Mikos. Ben Page is in eighth, followed by Jack Mayman, then Bert, uh, sorry, followed by Cameron Crockett, then Bertie Wellesley. Uh, as that all changes around there, and unfortunately we have lost uh, Kieran Ives and Daniel Beards in this race. As uh, they all come flying over the, uh, the uh, kink now, in towards Billy's. Benjamin Ballou ahead by not much now, as Harrison Crook is right up behind that first position. Minutes ago now, Benjamin Ballou defending off Harrison Crook now as Harrison tries to go down the inside. Uh, who had he had quite a fair bit of grip there uh, in the inside part of the track. So down the main straight, what are we going to see from these two drivers as we go on down? Harrison Crook looking like he wants to go down the inside and uh, just having to slow down a little bit there by the looks of it to uh, avoid some sort of an incident. But uh, through the S's and uh, Benjamin Ballou still ahead of, Cam uh, of uh, Harrison Crook. Magic Camara just about defending off that third position at the moment uh, with Jensen Watson, Jordan Morris uh, not far behind. Harrison Crook trying his best to try and uh, gain a few tents here and there. This is uh, going to be very tough for him to try and get that as we uh, lead with no seconds on the clock. We are leading into the last lap of this race. As we, they are going around at Billy's now. Harrison Crook still behind. Magic Camara still defending off Jensen Watts and Jordan Morris as well. As uh, they're going through the S's. Harrison Crook with some mega speed coming out of the S's. And it looks like he's just got ahead as well. Going through the ha uh, hairpin and horseshoe. He's ahead by much. That round the inside he is of the horseshoe. And managing to stick out in front. A very massive charge. And where he got the grip from. At the end of uh, coming out of the S's. But ladies and gentlemen. Coming down the main straight now. Your winner. That's a very brave and mad. Uh, I don't know how he managed to do it. Harrison Crook. With a 42.62. That's the fastest lap time of this race as well. Benjamin Ballou missing out on that first position, first position, uh, not by much though. But wow, that charge at the end of that race was mega. But there we go, that is the senior Rotax heat number two complete. What a charge! <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> trying to keep warm. Oh, the poor marshal trying to hold the yellow flag. Oh, bless him. That wind is strong. If that doesn't explain how windy it is today, I don't know what will. <laughs> oh, bless him. That, that, if it was me, that flag would have been gone. <laughs> that flag would have disappeared completely. Uh, so we've got the 177 and 177 masters out next. So uh, let's how we uh, let's see how we do uh, when that they pop out. Oh, okay. Alrighty. So as the 177 and 177 masters come out uh, with a bit of miscommunication, I think. Um, Let's see how this one goes. <laughs> yeah, uh, a couple of marshals there nearly getting run over from the miscommunication, but we're all good. So let's see how we go. Uh, Peter Bond says go Tommy78. As they come up the top bend now. Let's see how this one goes. As we come down the main straight now. And we're off. For another lap round, ladies and gentlemen. As we go around once again. Just so uh, we can uh, get everybody grouped up again. And uh, let's see if we can get this race underway very shortly. Alec, oh, ooh, it's a double Alex start, is it? Alex Bentley and Alex Heron uh, at the top. Mm -hmm. And uh, it looks like Tom Mountford will be starting from the back for this one. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen, as they are going back up the top end to redo the start. Let's go for the 177 and 177 Masters. So they come down the main straight now, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like 24's got an issue, but we will still continue and start this race off. So who's going to be leading out from the start of this one? And it will be the number 11, Alex Bentley. Led the pack round to the start of this race. And uh, looks like we'll be uh, continuing on from the start as well. Uh, defending as best as he can. The number 24 managing to get going as well. Taicho Simmons uh, doing his best to fly on through and uh, try and catch up with the rest of the race by the looks of it. But let's go. Let's see who will be out ahead after lap number one. Let's get your lineup for you right now. So currently Alex Bentley followed by Oliver Smith then Alex Heron then Ian Branfield. Cameron Marston will be in fifth position at the moment. Ben Johnson is behind, followed by James Webb, Tom Mountford, Joe Wormsley, and then Harry Rowett. That is your top ten. Good old Joe Wormsley. You gotta love him. <laughs> so, side by side is first and second at the moment. Down the inside, the number 11, Alex Bentley, looks like he's defending his position for that top spot. And uh, doing the best he can already. Round the top bend and down the main straight we go. The two drivers doing the best they can, but it is the number 83 of Oliver Smith out ahead, followed by Alex Bentley, then Alex Heron, 
That's your top three, but Ian Branfield is very close to him as well. As there is a few spins and... Oh, no! I think it's Joe. No, it's not. It's not Joe. He's all right. It looked like Joe for a second. Sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to say that, really, didn't I? As we keep on going round, a couple of drivers there spinning uh, at the... Uh, at Billy's as... Uh, we continue round. Speaking of Joe, he's currently number 33. Joe's in 10th at the moment. We'll see where that changes in a minute. As uh, we go down the main straights, the number 83 has the number 92 of James Webb right beside him as they go as he goes down the inside at Billy's and ahead at the first chance that he could. A very good overtake there at the start of the uh, S uh, at the start of uh, Billy's there. Say in every corner in one sentence. Joe Warmsley in 10th position at the moment. And uh, the gents warning has now been uh, dealt with. So it's now not going to fly off, hopefully. So we're just over five minutes to go. Let's see what uh, we achieve from uh, this heat number two James Webb ahead followed by Oliver Smith and Ian Branfield that is your top three at the moment Ben Johnson in fourth followed by Alex Bentley then Cameron Marston Joe Wormsley up into seventh position followed by Reese Llewellyn then Tom Mountford then Alex Heron Gareth Evans is in 11th Nathan Crowder in 12th Dan Milner 13th position and then Simon Gover in 14th position but it is James Webb all eyes on him as he is in first position at the moment but it looks like Joe's having a go at uh, around the outside in a, a Scottish helmet as they go through buttons has Joe have I just witnessed Joe make an overtake we should find out in a second as we come down the main straights there goes the number 61 Joe Wormsley making up two positions hello what is he doing Making some great racing there. James Webb, though, ahead by less than a second at the moment as they are, well, there's a bit plowing through the track. Sailing on through, uh, currently going towards Buttons at the moment. And up to the top bend they go now. Let's get you the rest of the order. So James Webb, Oliver Smith, Ian Brownfield still unchanged from those uh, three drivers. Number 24, Tycho Simmons at the back, just having a bit of a mare there, uh, spinning out uh, before the yeses. We've just got over three minutes to go to uh, see what comes from this race so far. We've only lost Harry Rowett in this race so far. With uh, two minutes 53 left on the clock. James Webb still ahead at the moment. Uh, Oliver Smith staying in there as best he can. Oliver Smith with the fastest lap time of, today, uh, of this race. Uh, 42.85. Uh, Ian Branfield just sticking out behind as well. Ben Johnson uh, chilling in fourth at the moment as well. Uh, Joe Wamsley still chilling up in sixth position at this time. Hey, Andy Darnell. Uh, great commentary as always. Oh, thank you. Uh, happy to be watching in the warm laughing face. <laughs> Andy, we know where you live. <laughs> So let's get an update. Oliver Smith is in first place, followed by Ian Branfield. James Webb is nowhere to be seen at the moment, as he just goes over the line, actually. Uh, losing a lot of time there somehow. Uh, not sure as I was uh, reading off the YouTube comments, but uh, yeah, very tough conditions out here today. Joe Wormsley still in sixth position, always keeping tabs on Joe, as I do on most of these uh, events. Joe scooting around with his uh, fluorescent orange, uh, fluorescent orange, uh, fluorescent yellow, 
Uh, wheels. I know he does for us an orange uh, on his uh, dry setup. Oh, and a spin by our leader by the looks of it. The number... The number 83, Oliver Smith spinning at the kink. Uh, a very awful place to spin sometimes. And uh, just he's trying to battle back to uh, get back into that first position. Losing a lot of time and it's right at the end of the race as well. One minute to go, uh, which is a real shame. Uh, meanwhile, that means I think that's Ian Branfield who's going to be taking this one uh, for a little while here. So we keep going up. A lot of other drivers spinning at the kink as well. A very popular spot at the moment. And uh, as we come down the main straight, let's get a change to the order as the wind blows even more. So Ian Branfield is ahead at the moment by a bit of a margin at the moment. 5.64 seconds, James Webb in second position. Ben Johnson in third, Tom Mountford in fourth. And then Oliver Smith, unfortunately, is staying out in fourth. And a spin there by another one of the drivers cutting across the grass to get back onto the track, which means Joe's up into fifth. I'm, I'm getting excited because Joe Wormsley's getting up into fifth. But this is absolutely crazy. The kink is a very, very wet spot. And uh, it's starting to get a bit of a muddy spot as well, just where uh, everyone's plowing off there. The poor grass. So Ian Brownfield just going over the line there. It's last lap time. As we get James Webb coming over the line, then Ben, uh, then sorry Oliver Smith making up two positions there. So does Joe. Joe's up into fourth position. Then Tom Mountford. Then Ben Johnson. Then we've got Reese Llewellyn, Alex Heron, then Dow Milner, Cameron Marston. Ladies and gentlemen, we could be looking at Joe Wormsley getting a fourth position here at, uh, on heat number two. Let's see how it goes. As we are nearing the end of this race very, very, very soon. As there we go, Ian Branfield taking the checkered flag. Followed by James Webb, Oliver Smith, and then... Ah, it's Joe! Joe Warnsley taking fourth position. And that will do it for the 177 and 177 Masters Heat number two. Just doing it to the music them for a second. <laughs> so that's the end of all the second heats. Ooh.
Man, you can hear the the rain. <laughs> Is my commentary box getting wet? <laughs> no, it's actually quite dry. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. <laughs> no, it's, it's it's lovely and warm. It's beautiful. I like it. <laughs> uh, it's not warm. Actually, it's cold. It, it, it's not warm. <laughs> no, I'm nice and dry. My feet are wet, though. Can that, does that count? <laughs> well, that's, <laughs> that's me in my commentary, man. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I, by the looks of it, we have a little announcement to make, unfortunately. Uh, it is... This is the end. Uh, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the stream. Very abrupt, I know. Uh, unfortunately, the decision has been made to abandon uh, the, the, the meeting, unfortunately. Uh, which is a real shame, obviously. Uh, we've had some brilliant racing so far, but it's it's very, very windy, very, very wet. Um, apart from my commentary box, thank you, Jack Goring. <laughs> um, so I don't blame him for, uh, for stopping the meeting uh, from where it is. It's just horrible. Marshalls are getting wet. And... Uh, it is what it is, unfortunately. Uh, thank you all for watching, though. I hope you enjoyed the stream as it has been. Um, and hopefully I've been somewhat entertaining. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, we'll be ending it here at... Uh, well, I'll just leave you with these pictures here. It's just absolutely awful. So, um, not a full day's commentary as I thought it would be, and not the full six hours. <laughs> but... Uh, We've done three hours, 54 minutes of uh, commentary, but yeah, there's, it's a shame that it's ended. I think I might be leaving all my equipment up here because I'm not taking that home in this wet weather. Uh, thank you to all the viewers that have been here as well. Uh, thank you for all for watching uh, and uh, giving me some great company. But otherwise, uh, I'll hopefully see you all next month, uh, exactly a month's time, actually, the 13th of March. Uh, that will be the next round of... Uh, when it all gets going. So, we shall see you all next time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, and goodbye.